Bad oh, boy, we lost Drink oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, where did he... Wait. Uh, he oh, oh, he's gone. I think it was an incursion. No, no. Oh, not one of those. I wonder if not Michael Walden's going to remember those going forward. <laughs> no, he's not. No. Oh, he might remember it just like the name. So he might reference it literally once But as something else. Twice, like... But it, uh -huh. it won't actually have the repercussions that he wrote it to have. What did I write before? Intrusion? Intru yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say that too. <laughs> Crustacean? <laughs> Crustaceans. <laughs> Here Speaking of crustaceans, return of the here's a mummy. Not a crustacean. Oh, yeah, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah, ha, ha. Uh, see, <laughs> yeah. Hobbits, Hobbits are... Hobbits are... Focus. Uh, look at him. He's uh, man. He you know look right. He's he's moderately unhinged already. Moderately unhinged. <laughs> what a great way to start the scariest scene in the whole uh, in the whole trilogy. Oh yeah, this by is, showing this you is, why well, Andy Circus really looks this like. This isn't the scariest yeah. scene because it doesn't have Hobbo's, I... Hob Bilbo's creepy ass Hobbit face on it in Rivendell. <laughs> it is fucking. Look, it's disturbing, is how I describe this. Yes, it's uh, it's very disturbing. And it does... starts so innocently. They're just fishing, having a great day. But then, yep. unfortunately, that's they a found whopper. The ring. It's amazing yeah. to be like, yeah, that's Andy Circus. Go on, go on, go on, put it on. <laughs> and then yeah. comparing well, him here. Andy Circus to... never looks like Andy Circus in movies. No, no. <laughs> it's interesting to think about, especially because of how much we're aware now of. Um box office openings. I'm pretty sure this broke the record, right, Return of the King? It was massively, massively successful. Nearly 250 million. Because I each went up and up and up, and like, Fellowship of the Ring already made a lot of money, but yeah, it just kept growing. Oh god, the hype for this was building. insane. Yeah. I think this was, at the time of its release, it beat out Phantom Menace as the second highest grossing film, like, of all time. Yeah, yeah. the difference is that this is a good movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang. <laughs> this uh, this doesn't even have Jar Jar in it. This, the prequels I mean, walks so that the sequels could get flushed out of the toilet, all right? I love how they built it up so even a ring in the mud, some grimy ass ring in the mud on this guy's hand is like, oh, ooh, that's spooky. And then look, look at the look that comes over Smeagol's yeah. face oh, right he's there. in love already. Uh, I, I love, I love the soft video. choir in the background. Yeah. It's just like, you know, like they've used that motif multiple times in these movies and... It's just like, oh well, shit, I know exactly what's about to happen. When Boromir was uh, up on the mountains when he was staring at the ring, they played it as well. Such a little thing. You just they don't... played it when uh, Aragorn was tempted by the ring as well. Definitely part now of this... what makes this sequence disturbing is the music as well. Well, the shift, yeah. Yeah, there it is. This is that moment when you, you're joking with friends, but you're actually serious. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's just what an effective way of demonstrating just how toxic and corrosive the ring is. How you've quickly it can happen. Hobbits, you're out fishing, and now they're fighting each other to the death. That's not a good but thing. But we're still clawing for it as well. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, and that was one of the scenes where they used the big ass yeah, ring. Yeah, that looked like the big uh, ring. In the yeah. Guy, yeah. And the look, the, dude, the look on Smeagol's face when he's strangling him. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, and the reverb. Look at him. From the bass on this one, shook. Yeah. I, I'll never forget it shook the theater. It was great. It's like his heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. And the rest of the fucking sequence just being how the ring tears him apart. Cast us and drove us away. Like, just like he's melting away and turning into this fucking husk. When the Reigns people yeah. saw that, they were like, I feel like putting an R on this, but I have no justification to do it. <laughs> like, it's just How so could you gross. Drive so like many it, yeah. people from watching this film. How could you? We forgot the taste of bread. But also, when we talked about how Andy Serkis, he's the kind of actor who no, no oh, ego allows himself to be totally absorbed in the role. The eyes. Oh. Yep. Look at that. That's insane. So Excellent smooth. work. 20 years ago. Ooh, that looks so good. Exactly. So 20 so fucking bad. years ago. There are God. some things you need to touch up in these movies if you're going to do it, but man. It is interesting to see how over the course of the films, they start to use more and more and more visual effects. Fellowship is 
a lot more restrained than you know towards the end of return of the king we've got well, these massive cg spectacles so i think part of it's because the story is just getting grander we got a lot bigger armies and stuff involved it makes too. sense that there's that yeah. and it would also be just the development of the technology as well because obviously yeah, yeah. all the films are shot back to back but you're releasing them sequentially it just gives yeah. you more time and you have to a plan so you you exactly. know by the time you get to return of the king you're gonna have to you know Around this time for films, it would be common for like 200 visual effects shots, but this film had about 1,500. Well, wait till the heirs of the Tolkien estate, you know, one more generation down, sell the rights and they remake it. This will be the, it'll be the first well, trilogy. Well, consider, to, to give some optimism to that, right? Look at Rings of Power. Nobody uh, sure. fucking even considers that to be like Lord of the Rings. How far did we no. go? And seven of seven the... minutes and 40 seconds before Rings of Power got brought up? There you go. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> well, no, no, but in a good way, right? Rings of Power kind of showed is... that if you do a bad job and if you do all the wrong things, people just laugh at you and you're going to fade into obscurity and yeah. you're not even considered I actually to feel close like, to this. Uh, had it been oh. released even as is, like 15, 10, 15 years ago, it wouldn't have gotten near as much of a response no. because of the fact that we've experienced oh, no. this with so many other things. It was like, I think, nah. um, I think really that what's true. happened is that over the last like 10 years, maybe really accelerated over the last five years, is just because you have the license doesn't really give you anything anymore. If Sam anything, it makes people skeptical. Hungry. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah we, yep. we transitioned from being excited to see new things for an IP to actually dreading it for no matter the yeah. IP now. When they were first talking about like getting the remasters, and I think me and Gary were talking about like, please just don't fucking touch anything. <laughs> so, yep. And now it's like, don't fucking go near it. Don't, don't even, don't even look at it. it. Don't even touch it. Oh. Don't even speak its name. Yeah, because you're waiting for the one to say, there is that one scene we're going to take out because it's uh, And also we added, uh, like, yeah, me. there's, we didn't have enough female characters, so we made one up and we CGI'd them in with Frodo and Sam here. And <laughs> it's <was laughs> almost like a George Lucas level, but without it not being goopy aliens, it's just women. <laughs> like, it's just loads of women. I, I, I like how you thought George Lucas. I was thinking Kung Pao and how that. Oh, the that's so good. Here. Hey, who's he? I don't know. What did they do? They just kind of like spliced him into like yeah. two, like three older movies that no one liked. I'll take a pound of nuts. That's a lot of nuts! My God, did they make a great film? At least I have you, boy. <laughs> that was one of the funniest fucking movies I've ever seen. Do you understand? No. Well, if Disney gets a hold of the remake, it'll be the first trilogy, or it'll be the first film project to cost a trillion dollars. <laughs> I'm kind of... What a perfect spooky forest. They would yes. put everything they have left on it, and then it makes like one dollar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, it's a big pool party! This, 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 we're about to get such a great scene and it was taken away from us originally. That is unbelievable. I that know. is actually cruel. unbelievable. Cruel. Cruel and unusual. Because yeah. <laughs> on the one hand, I understand that presenting a four-hour th film theatrically... Wow. Presenting a four-hour film theatrically... There's a wizard to manage here locked in his tower. And there Saruman must remain. I get it, but like, yeah, yeah, why yeah. would you? Why? I still remember it was because it frustrated me so much. The theatrical version, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they have this conversation. Under your guard, Tribune, is no power anymore. The filth of Saruman. And then it cuts hard to Treebeard saying the filth of Saruman is washing away. It, it, like, which is at the end of the big Saruman scene. And I remember seeing the extent of being like, what the fuck did you do? Why, why did, what, what, what happened about? Is, is him included? Did he turn into like mist or something? Or did he burn yeah. in the sunlight? Like what happened? No, young rascals! A merry hunt of us on, and now we find you. And then, you know, finding out that Christopher okay. Lee didn't know that, that that was the case until he saw it in the cinemas as well, which sucks. That does yeah. suck. That would have been really shit for him to say that. Well, it was the core of what damaged their relationship as well, right? I mean, I understand that. <laughs> like, being a part of Lord of the Rings, but then the ending for your character is cut out. The salted pork is particularly good. Salted pork. Movie making. It's magic. Yeah. Yeah, this. And it takes away Theoden's one of his It's so best good for so many fucking... characters. Be careful. Even a defeat, Saruman is dangerous. In the book. It, it's it's Grima Wormtongue's resolution too. Yep. That big what if of what if Grima didn't die there here? Are... What is his redemption arc look like? You have fought many wars and slain many men, Theoden King, and made peace afterwards. 
What there is, are what I would what call happens? good scenes that I would remove before this one. Mm-hmm. Yes. This one like, is, this was the biggest, it's, this was the worst decision. <laughs> like, this was the worst <laughs> one in terms of a scene to remove. They may not take counsel together as we once did, my old friend. Imagine cutting out anything that has Chris Foley in it. He looks all haggardly and yeah. you know, weaker now. We shall have peace when you answer for the burning of the West Fold. Boy, he's so fucking pissed and bitter about like stupid Gandalf, like <laughs> he fucking replaced Ruined me. Ruined my plans. When you hang from a gibbet, we shall have peace. Gibbets and crows, don't. Gibbet. Don't. What do you want, Gandalf Greyhaim? Oh, this fucking shot! Look at that. It's so oh, cool. You know, perhaps the keys of Baradur itself. Along with the crowns of the seven kings and the rods of the five wizards. Here he's talking about the rods of the five wizards. Yeah, again. Gandalf's like, okay, stop fucking around. Okay, stop. <laughs> Wait, come on. So you have come here for information. Oh yeah, because the Palantir doesn't really have a cause and effect line it's... as well in the theatrical version. Because you're like, oh, it's just there. It's just all because he picks it up from. They just the... sort of have it. Yeah, he just picks it up. Yeah, he just it's just in the water. Something festers in the heart of Middle Earth. Something that you have failed to see. They must have known they like, were cutting it. Like, it's oh, weird that weird. it's in the water if it was in his study, you know? Yeah. Like, why would that be in the water? Even now, he presses his advantage. He's got a, such a great staff, too. The staff is like the tower, and it's got yep. the orb on the top. Oh, it's so great. You cannot think that this ranger will ever sit upon the throne of Gondor. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. The sort of the the common themes and a lot of the like aligned architecture and equipment. Yeah, it's when they put a lot of effort into this exile crept from the shadows will never be crowned king. God, I yeah, love the I, dressing down of like everybody. Fucking yep. go around all of them. Get Gimli. <laughs> what words of comfort did you give the halfling before you sent him to his doom? What would he say no, about Gimli? Gimli you and fat, Gimli. short, he, useless piece of far. shit. <laughs> you Grab short bear, do fuck. It. Shoot him. Stick an arrow in his gob. No. Stick an arrow in his gob. Save your pity and your mercy. I have no use for it. Hey. Boo, eat a fireball. Oh, God, shit. Oh, Gandalf's dead. No. Saruman. Your staff is broken. <laughs> Oh shit! Gotcha! What a Chad! There he is. What a Chad move. Yeah. Prima, you need not follow him. You were once a man of Rohan. Dude, the fact that Theoden's immediately like come and join you us. Know, yeah, yeah, please, like you know, see the fucking light, bro. What is the house of Rohan? But a thatched barn where brigands drink in the reek and their brats roll on the floor with the dogs. Boo! Theoden, horse master, or a lesser son. Of greater science. Damn, hitting him right in the insecurities. Mm hmm. And he ignores him. I've... You withdraw your guard, and I will tell you where your doom will be decided. I like how, in interview with Christopher Lee, when he was talking about this scene, he described that as saying very rude things to all the other characters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are quite rude. They're they're rude. rude. They I know, it's just like, rude. it's a funny way of describing it. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, but also you do. that reaction. It's a bit of a, a yeah. I mean, you you know, you stabbing the guy I in the back. The shot, Jesus. I wonder which uh, of Christopher Lee's stabbing victims he was thinking about when he was acting and out getting stabbed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the thing about Lord of the Rings. Everyone's talked about all of a, a lot of trivia to do with it that it gets almost repellent to repeat them when everyone's like, I already know this one. But I was just thinking about what everyone probably does know. The uh, the way they, they staked Christopher Lee on a wooden wheel there was deliberate. Yeah. Like, that's just yeah. fucking awesome. Yep. Yeah, this. This is where it starts in the theatrical. Yep. And it's like, it's you motherfucker. It is <laughs> unbelievable. It is unbelievable how much you lose in that shit. That short seed. Why? Pippin, well, <laughs> what's interesting, this this follows in. Of course, Pippin kind of goes and gets yeah. it. He's sort of impulsive. He's a little bit yeah. foolish and impulsive, and he just goes and gets it. Which, uh, you know, the little things consistently throughout a story that build, you know, the picture of a, a complete character. Like, yeah. they're the kind of little things that you would overlook. Yeah, remember this element of Pippin. It, w it will literally become a part of, you know, his character later again. They're, yep. You see that? Well, see, that, that look of like, of course you would fuck around with this. And then Pippin's like, eh. 
Didn't this win all of its nominations? For a... I think it might have gotten the most wins out of like any film at the Academy Awards. Twelve, I believe. Good. That is correct. No acting. Yeah, uh, it is. is a crime. That would be a crime, yeah. And it's so different than Gondor when we get there. There's just such a complete and total difference. The long houses and the wooden aesthetic and that Norsey yep. kind of look. It's just so different from. Oh, you and know, you can see the color the realms. Yeah, it's just vibrant. Like you want to be well, here. This is a place you want to be. Because yep. remember in Two Towers how grim and miserable it was. Yeah. You find more cheer in a graveyard. Tonight, we remember those who gave their blood to defend this country. Everybody looks like they're having. Yeah, I want to go to this. Yeah, party. so Return of the King is tied with Ben Hur and Titanic for the most uh, Academy Award wins with 11. Not bad. And it won everything that it was nominated for. Damn. To make Look at him go. Look at him go. Hail the victorious dead. Hail! This is our we can chill out for a little bit moment because the two towers was tough okay yep <laughs> we did just get off of like oh you gotta assemble everyone he's coming we gotta do some stuff in the palantir that's spooky so we kind of kind of get our little bitty balance our little ups and downs of tension Which, and release no spirits. and no regurgitation <laughs> so it's a drinking balance in a four-hour movie that's a tough thing to it is tough. achieve yeah you the only other that's example we have is uh zach snyder Doing yes, horrendously the awful. Perhaps the most no. What are you saying? Perhaps the most well balanced film ever made. <laughs> not a not a second wasted. Not a frame wasted in that. That movie. was one of the most fascinating experiences to compare the footage differences <laughs> in the the Whedon yeah. cut versus his own, and how much he added into scenes that were just you know establishing shots. We needed to know they walked up all of those stairs, or else how would we have known how they got to the top of the stairs when and they we were really at the bottom? To see, we needed to see that extra 25% of empty space above all of the characters' heads in well. every scene except for the one that <laughs> yes. was reshot. <laughs> yes. It was not Thaden of Rohan who led our people to victory. Ahsoka had to show us getting on a ship. That's true. Ship, Ahsoka's a great example of wasting time. Staring at each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And ironically, the prequels to these movies, technically, the Hobbit movies, are the most time wasty trilogy ever put to film. Yeah. What did I say? Depends on your definition of time wasting. <laughs> One might say the sequels would be the biggest waste of time for anybody ever. He can't hold his lick. Game over. <laughs> Oh, to. the Hobbit kicked my hand. I'll never yes. wash it again. Man, it the amount so of work that would have gone into this shot, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks, looks great. Totally fucking seamless. Yeah, that was awesome. So for me, like, it's so funny. You watch Lord of the Rings, you think it's amazing, and then you go forward however many decades and watch some new stuff where there's just zero subtlety. And then someone will be like, oh, are you just picking on it because it's new? It's like, no, you go to this old stuff, you're like, look, they have many moments yeah. in these films where they don't tell you what's going on. They show I don't you. know what to tell you, but the late 90s, early 2000s, there's a lot of good stuff was happening at that That's time. That's a fun right? era for, for media, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does your heart tell you? That Frodo's alive. Kind of like a transition era. Trying a lot of new things, synthesizing Transition the whole from, things. from the greatest trilogy ever made to everything else that happened <laughs> everything afterwards. Everything else. And yeah, that's pretty much it. They should have just packed it up. When they made this film, they were like, all right, we did it, everyone. We, we have film, solved no. the film has been film solved. Is over. <laughs> we filmed, we have. <laughs> we, we yeah. solved it's not, cinema. It's not, that, it's, it's not that cinema is kill. Cinema is salvation. It's redeemed. It's sailing yes. across the ocean, okay? It's graduated. Yeah, now but, <laughs> the new timeline is uh, B-L-O-T-R and A. L O T R <laughs> for and after. That's it. Kill them both. Listen, if we're gonna talk about our plans to kill them, maybe move a little further away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He was alone for a long time, so he probably just thinks they can't hear him or doesn't get. Oh, him. I think you get away with a lot of stuff because he's fucking mental. Like he's <laughs> Gollum is not a altogether. You know, you might you might describe him mm -hmm. that way. No, not never. Just needs a self-help book, all right? How to win friends and influence people. It was just, it was rough in all uh, Osgiliath for him. And he's, uh, he's been betrayed one too many times. How to win fish and influence hobbits. It's us. Patience. Patience, my love. Patience, my love. All it's weird when you whisper that to us all the time, like before, right before we start an EFAP and you whisper that. Fring, we've been meaning to say that it's really creepy when you do that. 
I so. was just going to talk yeah. about how I really <laughs> like the filmmaking that's on display here in terms of drawing a divide between the two personalities. You when they go in. There's no coming out. Well, they did it excellently in New Towers, and now this being a reflection in the water is, uh, and he's particularly menacing. She's always hungry. She always needs to feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he's just not moving as much as more, is he? You oh, and know, I remember so this was static. fun for me because a friend of mine who was super into the books, he was telling me, like, before this film came out, that he was like, I hope I can't wait to see She Lob. And I was like, What's that? I remember describing it to me, and I was like, Holy fuck. She hungers for sweeter meats, hobbit meat. <laughs> considering the fist, too, I was like, Giant yeah, spider. And then the knowing all of that, then having Gollum describing her, and she, I was like, Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, now oh, that's an incriminating line. If only Sam had a recording yep. device. Yep. Wouldn't to fly. Ah! <laughs> I always love that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> that literally how people behave when they realize their head's bleeding. <laughs> they look at their head and they're like, oh fuck, I'm bleeding. It's like I was already bad. Now I'm like really bad. I won't wait around for him to kill us. I'm not sending him away. You don't see it, do you? It's so nice to know that at, by the end of this, Sam is completely vilified. Do you mean... Or sorry, not vilified. Vindicated. <laughs> He's complete... I'm what's... Vindicated. 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 <laughs> that was such a weird fucking statement for a second there. <laughs> vindicated. Not it wasn't, vilified. It was like Rags is on Gollum's team. <laughs> <laughs> team Gollum, Team Gollum, get him the ring. Look at the poor guy. It, it wasn't that Gimli was trying to get them killed. It was that <laughs> Sam was trying to get them killed. I wonder Gimli was real. There's like, well, at least Sam's dead. If dead. <laughs> it would be know how vilified he is. Did you see that uh, criticism, by the way, Gary, at any point that someone said that these, these films are really cheesy with dialogue like he's a villain? He's a villain. It was a criticism that it was super, like, childish or something, or like, but without realizing that that's, like, dialogue accurate, so to speak. Yes, like, dialogue yeah. accurate from a linguist. Yeah, like, uh, it, it's the kind of shit where you're just like, man, you know The Lord of the Rings is good when that's what you got, you know? Yeah. But that you don't like that he said he's a villain when that's accurate? Yeah, like, it's, it's absolutely not. Absolutely accurate. <laughs> I dreamed I saw a great Climbing over green lands and above the hills. Ooh, just like Rings of Power. Yeah, now you mentioned right. it. Something stirs in the east. A sleepless malice. The post credit that, scene it, of the Saruman commentary. Figuring out how to balance me. Fucking a, swallow a, your food before you speak, cunt. I'm sorry. That's permanent. <laughs> Stop talking until you fucking swallow. <laughs> Lord of the Rings as a trilogy is the most nominated film franchise for Academy Awards. It surpassed Godfather and Star Wars, which had 29 and 21. Which is, as a uh, total franchise, you mean? So when yeah, you as, well, as together. a trilogy, specifically. Yeah, I guess I can believe that. It just, it would make sense that it would come close to them. Well, it's, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a buddy who slept with his eyes open. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> totally terrifying. We thought he was dead multiple times. We're like, he's dead. He's definitely but dead this, this time. If they, sleep, if they sleep with their eyes open, how do their eyes get moist? I guess it's because the room isn't dry enough or hot enough or whatever to dry out the eyes. So they don't, it's, 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 I think it's just, it's Pippin's sweat probably just keeps yeah. the What, his the sweat nice drips moist. into his open eyes? <laughs> <to keep laughs> nope. it, just, it just keeps the room moist. Yes, that makes yeah. more sense than what I said. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> what really happens is they open and close their eyes yeah <laughs> this is such a moment of Sauron's like who who are you what is who, who, who are, no, no who, are right. you that are you someone's kid where's Saruman what did phone? you do to him is he safe is he all right it's like an open line back in the day he's like hang up the phone I'm still on it Pippin. Gandalf should have put it in a chest huh <laughs> Yeah, it kind of just doesn't really solve the problem, does it? No. Almost looks like as well as he Hot dropped potato. it, he was uh, trying to hold on to it, too. Who will I took? I think he cares about him, is partially responsible for him, if not fully, and fucking hates him sometimes. <laughs> so. But he holds it, he says, well, you fucked up, now we gotta have to do some things. What happened to everyone first time they went to Rotten.com? I don't even know which one that is, but I've guy myself. been to yeah. plenty of Are scary websites all? in my time. Are you all too young to remember Rotten.com? You know, us and youngsters, it, we had our own visions. Oh, you probably we had, had. mathgames.com. <laughs> there was a white tree. 
in a courtyard of stone. It was dead. So this would be interpretable as he did actually see into Sauron's plan, or that Sauron was happy for him to see this as like a threat, or maybe a, instill a bit of fear. I think that I think there's a little bit of fight. openness to the communication that kind of leaves it a little bit. Yeah, it's hard to know because when Saruman was using it, he was obviously more adept at it. He wasn't even yeah. touching it when he used it. His hand was over the top of it, and he was doing his spooky wizard fingers, you know, stuff. And this is far more uncontrolled and a bit wild. There was no lie in Pippin's eyes. A fool, but an honest fool, he remains. Gee, thanks. Well, I don't know, he's getting off know. lightly compared. Yeah. 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 Pippin saw in the Palantir a glimpse of the enemy's plan. Look at those god rays. Why should we ride to the aid of those who did not come to ours? No, Theoden. It's okay. They were just... Shitty. You must come to Minas Tirith by another road. You're gonna fetch us some Skeleman ghosts. Well, yeah, he'll be doing that and the Corsairs, right? Of all the inquisitive hobbits Peregrine took, you are the worst. Hurry, hurry! It is interesting to think about, like, how to, you know, now that the Fellowship's been split apart, how do we make sure that everybody's got enough to do for yeah. long enough to give us a lot of balance and scope for the story? Yeah, you compared want... Compared to how much more focused the scope of Fellowship is. You want character and agency. With a lot of them. Yeah. And figuring out, like, the right pairings and how to make those pairings interesting as well. Like, Gandalf and Pippin. It's an interesting, interesting combo. Yeah, and then Merry and Eowyn, right? Like, connecting over there. Um, yeah. Both not and being it taken feel, seriously. You know, now we know. Sauron thinks that Pippin has the ring. Merry had to tell him this to kind of snap him into, like, no, this is what's happening. You need to, be, like, take this seriously. And it doesn't feel yeah. forced. It doesn't feel like it's just expository dialogue. Yeah. Something for the road. Last of the long bottom leaf. You smoke too much. And he's telling him because he cares about him. Yep. Yeah, well, this realization, they might not see each other again. We'll see each other soon. Because, yeah, they're, they've almost had it a little too chill for too long, those two. Yep. Well, these yep. two are now getting thrust very quickly. It's like, all right, time well, they're for they're separated. Your they're not together anymore. Yeah. They're, for the first what time. What a great way to force that growth when they're both apart. First time ever for them. Wow, right through the... Wow, 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 shut up. Wow, right through the... Okay, fine, fine, fine. Straight line, it's fine. What, like, we can't you see said... his face, but Gandalf's pissed off because his cloak is getting wet. Is that everything? Just... You said <laughs> show us the meaning of haste. You did yeah. say that, yeah. One thing I've learned about hobbits. They are most hardy folk. Foolhardy, maybe. Just an evening stroll through the woods as elves do. Is this, is this, uh, is this, this doesn't look like evening. It looks way too bright. Ooh. Rags is playing the insane <laughs> elf. I love the woods! Oh, the, the elf that's just running around in the background, <laughs> darting back and forth Wee! between the trees. Ooh, fern! I shot her love leaves! Ooh, tree! Look, horsey! No! As you know, I'm tired, mine would be. Welcome to uh, Aoife, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, <laughs> Return of the King. This, uh, we're a South Park Vigo parody. You need, like, the guy I was just off the center being like, You had it all and you blew it to <laughs> Arwen. That kid many, has right? the most disturbingly intense stares I've ever seen on a human being. Well, if I was an apparition staring at my mom that I would require to do a thing so that I would exist, I'd be pretty intense, Yeah, you give too. her a stare. There is nothing for you here. Only death. Only death? Elrond did a lie. My lady! Please, no. That back. guy is so confused, though. He's like, am I supposed to do anything about this? I, I, didn't, I didn't see any of your vision, lady, all right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on in your head. Ah, oh, so beautiful. It's like a painting come to life. What did you see? I saw death. But there is also life. Oh, is he doing an yeah. Obi-Wan? He's like, so what I told you is true. <laughs> From, <laughs> From a, a certain, certain point, point of view. Of view. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his little action scene in the Hobbit films as well, doesn't he? Oh boy, he does. Books are stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck literature. Yeah. It's I had Fortnite a feeling time, that was the baby. agenda of this film, was trying to tell us books suck, film is cool now. 
Mm-hmm. Can you please stop littering? We've been meaning to tell you it's beginning to be a problem. Bad enough raking up the leaves around this place. Yeah, Make- now that the population of Rivendell is walking to a different place, we don't have anyone to clean up all the there's shit still, that's There's still around. the blacksmiths, guys. They're going to reforge yeah, the sword. There. Yeah, and they probably have maybe, I don't know, like people. They were going to leave. Were- and then Elrond was like, wait, 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 wait. We might make that sword. I haven't decided yet, so. Well, they got the Rivendell Home Depot they can go to. The Rivendell Home Depot? Yes. <laughs> I, I hope that's just Elrond wearing a Home Depot vest. <laughs> That'd be a great, great little role to have. It's like, oh, you were in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Who are you? It's like, oh, I was you know, just an unnamed part, but I'm one of the elves who, you know, reforged the, you know, Anduril, Flame of the West. You know, it's pretty, yeah, it's yeah. no big deal. You know, we just, no you know, deal. me and my friend did it. Yeah. And the guy's like, did you get to keep the sword? It's like, I'm still cool, even if I didn't get oh, to keep the sword. Oh, we have to sword. give it to Aragorn so that he could free the people yeah. of Middle Earth. <laughs> Man, I would never see sure Earth is so awesome. Oh, what so a good. awesome city. That's quite what a, a cool design, idea. Yeah. What a cool idea of this layered city against the mountain. Remember the special edition DVDs they sold where you got like a, a golem statue and then you got the Minas Tirith. Uh, it, it opens up and you can like store things in it. It's really freaking nice. cool. Back when they did fun stuff with A perfect DVDs. place to keep your long bottom leaf. Yes. Yeah, you could stash your weed. Leaf app does not condone the use of long bottom leaf. <laughs> No. I fully condone the use what of long yeah, we do. Leaf. Damn. I'm all about that salted pork. Short bottom, mid bottom, and long bottom are all approved. I like round bottom myself. It does feel like a subtle thing that beyond bottom. the sets themselves being very disparate to give a sense of place, but even like the, has been talked about the lighting compared to like how bright it is. There's a distinctly bright area. So these guys look like they could repel what was sent to Helm's Deep with a, a lot more ease than Rohan could, but then again, you see what these guys have to deal with from Sauron. You're like, oh shit, especially with yeah, the Nazgul. It's been constant all the time too. Oh, also some black pill leader. And then, you know, yes. Rohan, horse and all that they've got that open ground to just there are a few qu- uh, quite as fuck yeah moments as when Denethor is fucking depressing his whole army and Gandalf hits him in the face <laughs> like it's yeah. such a <laughs> You know, to bounce off of your uh, comment about the um, how bright and kind of colorful everything is for me, like compare that to like every fucking fantasy show or movie that's come out oh, lately, right? Where it's just all washed dark out. and gritty. Yeah, washed out. Thinking about that well, yeah, a lot, because actually. medieval times were shitty and awful, and no one liked color or things to look nice, and they all just wore shitty brown rags. Rags. Hey, <laughs> Perhaps you come to tell me why my son is dead. It's it's the attempts that they make to make sure that the world doesn't feel homogenous, that there's a distinct identity to each of the locations well, that yeah. they visit. Well, yeah, look at this palace it's... compared to Edoras. It's completely different. Yep. The stone. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't do this to me. No. Just in case I was just me. starting to get over it. No. <laughs> I'll never get over it. Oh, drag me right back in. He failed defending us from many foes. Hit me in. Just that little quick shot where he kneeled before Gandalf, it looks so good. It's all very important to maintain the fantasy of it, isn't it? There's that impulsive Pippin, but who feels honor Impulsive, but Boromir. very, very, very interesting as a choice mm-hmm. that you would make instantly. The mightiest man may be slain by one arrow. Boromir was pierced by many. As steward, you are charged with the defense of this city. Where are Gondor's armies? Where would be... Gondor's armies. They might be fighting all over Gondor. Mm. I don't know. I doubt is this a is matter a that they're scattered and purely localized. Disorganized. Yeah, it might be that element. Yeah. Everyone's just kind of trying to do their best. It's like we saw in Two Towers, you know, it's not just Edoras, it's all those places everywhere. And even when the Corsairs arrive later, there is like port towns all over the place. That is one thing that this movie doesn't do as well as I would have liked it to, where like everything around Minas Tirith is supposed to be like farmland yeah. with little villages dotted it's about. Like, and the, it's that like Eris too. You see that a lot in movies where it's just the castle and everything outside the castle is just empty to nothing when it should be full of buildings and farmland and roads and stuff like that. There are some roads going out from Minas Tirith. It's just that it's not as like detailed as it should have yeah, been. Yeah, you would imagine it would be, you know, far more. You know. Authority is not given to you to deny the return of the king. Steward rule of Gondor is mine! Then how come you sit in the little chair? Well, the little chair is going to be the big chair if nobody ever sits in the big chair. All right, mm-hmm. Pippin, hope you feel good about that pledge. All has turned to vain ambition. He would even use his grief as a cloak. And even on, like, all the statues, I, I, I always fucking love these helmets that all these... 
royal guards have up here. The spears, the way they look, it's so good. They look so cool. You they don't want to fuck like, with them. Yeah, they look like the, you know, if you're playing a video game, these are these are definitely a step up from your regular yeah, soldiers. Yeah, this is what you, yeah, what you get to you, level uh, 80 and you can start working towards this armor, that kind of thing. Yeah, this armor was the, high uh, stats for a Barathord third age. What what were they called in Halo 2, Fringy? The the Royal Guard oh, elite? It. Oh, I know their name, but I, I don't remember it right now. Yeah. And then they were the um, brutes. Oh, I know who you're talking about. The oh, point I forget being the that name. They were, they were like the vanguard, basically, for the, the High Council. Oh, I forget the name. Oh, yeah, you have to fight a bunch of them to get to the Prophet. Yeah, that's right. God, imagine that just as yeah. you're always. It's got to be so oppressive. It, it keeps you goal-oriented. But I mean, it you know, it's because it's the tip of the spear, isn't it? I know, yeah. It's quite a contrast, you know, especially for the audience. Yeah. That's Mordor, and this is the nice place. Yeah, like beautiful, bright, majestic Minas Tirith cast against the grim, miserable Gondor. Uh, not Gondor, but <laughs> Mordor. <laughs> I mean, maybe the mood is a bit grim. Yeah, <laughs> but you know. When the shadow of Mordor reaches this city, it will begin. That's a game. It is. That's a game that you that not has the really biggest fan of. <laughs> uh, well, I like the gameplay a lot. I just think it has like one of the worst stories I've ever seen in a video uh -huh. game. It's pretty yeah. bad. But yes, it does have fun gameplay. Fun gameplay that they decided to make sure that no one else could ever replicate. Must be getting near tea time. I suppose it would be in decent places. We're not in decent places. We're not in decent places. I don't think I'll be coming back. In a way, you will not. We're going there and back again, just like Mr. Bilbo. You'll see. But I mean, yeah, it's a nice reassurance, but I mean, you know, Frodo's right. It's There's like, just a lot going a... on, and, and it's like Leia 1 is, you know, just a general worry. It's like, Willie, then Leia 2 is like, he did. Yeah, of course, the Leia down is, sure, you can physically come back. You can go back to the Shire physically after surviving your journey but the journey exacts a toll and it's something that i think a lot of people even who love these films didn't quite understand fully of what was being said with that when i feel film. like it's a super important part of the story the idea that you know the quest costs him something mm -hmm. nice porch so that's a balcony does a porch need to be on ground level i've always understood a porch to be on never anyone describe a porch above ground, ground level yeah <laughs> All right. You're in the service of the steward now. You'll have to do as you're told. Is the steward the person who makes all the stew? I don't think yes, so. Yes, that's it. No? Okay. <laughs> Ridiculous hobbit. Ridiculous hobbit. Then he was he should have made sure of that before he pledged his service. <laughs> Gandalf is particularly cranky, isn't he? He's just funny. <laughs> Understandably, yep. but you know. <laughs> God, it, it looks yeah. so good! It does. See, Krabby, this. too, if you were this powerful, angelic being trapped in the body of an old man. <laughs> I thought God, you were going to say this powerful, angelic being trapped with this fucking with idiot hobbit. hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so quiet. It's the deep breath before the plunge. I wonder if Gandalf's looking at him every now and again thinking, you got me killed. <laughs> you, did. you sort of led up to series but, of yeah, by the that way, get me killed. We haven't spoken yet about what happened in <laughs> the Myers it of did, It did work out in the end, but that's you know, no excuse. You know, Pippin, Back in we're, at a, we're at a pretty high place now. Would you like to feel what I felt? Yeah. You know what it's like to <laughs> fall for seven years? There never was much hope. Just a fool's hope. Through fire and water, here we go. We went through the craziest swimming pool ever. If the garrison at Osgiliath falls, the last defense of this city will be gone. You can't feel anything but bad for the people at Osgiliath. That shit is so yeah. difficult. <laughs> Especially because we've already seen that, you know, scene of them taking it back. So, mm. you know, they've been fighting for a long time. We have the white wizard. That's got to count for something. I mean, it's what sets up, you know, why Boromir wants the ring. He's like, we've been fighting for ages. This is what we do all the time. We do it so you don't have to. Sauron has yet to reveal his deadliest servant. The one who will lead Mordor's armies in war. 
That's a point of contention, it's... right? Saying that we he's yet to reveal the Witch King, even though we've met the Witch King already. I guess the, reveal. Uh, it wasn't yeah, revealed best, in like um, the field of battle. It was a secretive yeah. kind of. I, I guess you could it. also argue like he hasn't really gone like full Witch King. I guess. Yeah. I would word it differently. Yeah, because the line. Yeah, the line. Script. He's yet to reveal him. You've met him before. Like, I okay. guess because it was a. It was yeah a more covert weather top kind of thing. Yep. Instead of like here he is. Look, he's flying around on his on his spooky serpent, and he's it, yeah. maybe it would be better to say something along the lines of like he's yet to reveal his full power or something, yeah. which is true in the context of the movies. It's just that line is kind of clunky. Quick, they will see. They will see. Oh, I love the sort of tints of color difference with Minas Mogul. I, I'm going to say something a little controversial. I think we need more gargoyles in media. Yes, yes, we mm -hmm. do. Is that controversial? Now, do you, Why would you think that? Let, let me ask you this. Do you mean, like, specifically gargoyles? Like, that, that are water spouts or just generally spooky statues on stone buildings? Generally spooky statues on stone buildings. You know, I'm for it. I'm for it. Yep. There's more statues, period. We need more statues of great people. Great people like, like gargoyles. Pillars <laughs> shaped like people. Look at that Buildings fucking place. So cool. Guys, I'm gonna go get an apartment. This is this is when Sauron showed the Witch King this. He's like, this is your house. He was like, oh, yes, you do. Like, how did you know? This is me. The green accent lighting just makes it. It just feels sickly. Yeah. Dead. And like, it's the, it's, the, it's a very specific kind of green. Because green no, often guys, represents I mean, we life. Check. Oh god! That's, oh god! Yeah, that, there are there are definitely good and bad greens. This is an ominous Look. green. The sky beam before all sky beams. Yeah, because I feel like Iron Man was the, uh... Yeah, Iron Man feels like it was kind of... Well, it, I don't know who did it first era. for superheroes, but it became a thing for all superhero movies to have sky beams. It got weird. Oh, shit, guys. <laughs> Yeah, and this is a helpful thing to communicate, sort of like the passage of time and making sure that everybody understands. Yeah, yeah we're lined up here. You might not have thought that, but we're we're aligned. One of my favorite musical moments right here. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! He it's just coming fan. everywhere. This is this is like awesome this is pure you. fantasy in the best way yep. possible. Yep. <laughs> Talk about fucking rule of cool. The Witch King is just <laughs> like, does it get cooler than that? Hell oh, yeah! All right, guys, we're just going to the come and go to pick up some gummies and top off the Ford. The great battle of our time. It's a real blink and you miss it thing, but I like how the green of the city is kind of like reflecting in the water over the or under that bridge. Yeah, it's just it has like a ghostly feel to it. I fucking love it. God, there's so many beautiful vistas, even when obviously it's very oppressive and scary, but... <laughs> we must climb! We must climb! Now, time for the incredibly safe staircase. This even just showing how proof. black their feet are, how mm -hmm. long they've been on this journey, and how arduous and difficult it's been. Up the stairs we go, and then it's into the tunnel! Hey. At this point, Savage should be like, I heard what you said, I'm gonna kill you. You listen good and proper. Anything happens to him, you have me to answer to. I would be so tempting for Sam during all of this to just grab him and throw him off the fucking mountain. Be like, oh, look, he slipped. That's horrible. Anyway. Sam is just such a fucking good person. <laughs> He's just such a friend. He's like, listen, I know. I said it before and I'll say it again. You're a villain. That's a scheming expression, that he one. He's a schemer. He's a, he's a villain. It was this said established. at one point, yes. Peregrine took my lad. There is a task now to be done. Another opportunity for one of the shy folk to prove that great boss. The stairs are a villain. Stairs are a villain is you the know... kind of thing that Boogie would say. Yes. You know, for a fucking fact, by the way, if Pippa were caught here, Gandalf would be like, I have no idea what he was doing. I'm, I'm not related Ooh, I, to this I've guy. What, seen... what is he doing? Is that a, <laughs> is that a midget? Over the... Oh my goodness. He's definitely not associated wow. with me. You're not affiliated with me. I wish they didn't use torches on these boats. Yeah, it, it does bug me a little bit that they'd have those. Especially for this uh, stealth all mission. It takes is like, all it takes is one guy looking and be like, why are there like 18 torches over there? Yeah, but maybe it's like in Splinter Cell. They're like Splinter Cell torches where when they're glowing, it means you're especially invisible. 
Ooh, oh yeah, the lights on his uh, yeah his NVGs. The icon there. of the series that betrays the entire. It would be funny if like there is like an it really is an iconic look though. The the more oh, hidden yeah, you are, awesome. the more the NVGs glow. It is funny. That it's like yeah, we got him, so no one lit. It's like everyone saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Gothbog is like, how did they spot us? Turns around, it's like you're all got the fucking torches on. What the fuck? I told yeah, you what, guys. I said light them after. Stupid. We better win this. <laughs> Didn't the actor who played Lurtz also play Gothmog and like one other orc? I don't know. He played uh, funny, Witch King as we well. We put out our torches now? Well, like, oh, now it doesn't fucking matter. Might as well keep them on. This is called a reverse ambush. Pretty much I'm familiar with some of these scenes because I saw them so many times in the games afterward. Like they'll play these clips and they'll be like, and now you get to be a part of it. Well, yeah, that was what they did a lot with the movie licensed games back in the day. It's like, oh, movie, all right, and then cut to gameplay. All right, back to movie. The Lord of the Rings ones, they would create the in-game versions of all of this and sync them. It's kind of like crazy to think about. Yeah, like an odd amount of hard work going. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely of a time gone by. We, uh, we don't do that no do. more. Which I guess makes sense because of the whole you stand to spoil your movie, uh, especially if the game gets released ahead of time, which it often does. I mean, I assume it stopped as well because it just wasn't profitable enough. Yeah, they, I mean, well, they had a reputation, didn't they? Which is unfortunate because it's like, there shouldn't be anything stopping you from making a really fun, awesome game, but you keep making shitty ones. I say that as if the fucking Marvel's, Marvel Avengers intertwined Avengers thing was game, any yeah. like better or something. It's like, no. I did it. Yeah. I did it. I did now the what? thing. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, it's so fuck. funny. Just like, oh, shit. Like, fire. Like, oh, I freaking love this scene. Oh, shit. God. Oh, no. The beacons are lit. We call for aid. That's nice to have a little house up there. Music. Here yeah, they try to show that. That's a really cozy gig. You and, just a, you and a bro just hanging out all day up there, just waiting to light those beacons. You and a bro, in yeah, quotations. Yeah, you and a bro, a brother of Gondor, a brave soldier, ready to defend his kingdom against the evils of Mordor. A fucking shot of Denethor. You oh, I you. Them, they those beacons. Call oh, for I help. I don't want no help. We could die on our own. Yeah, I think all of these were CG except one that got helicoptered in. I wonder if it's that one. I think it's this one. This one looks like... Yeah, you can like... tell that one's CGI fire, but they it looks like they built but an actual... It looks like it's real and they're there. Man, it is so fascinating to think about how the little this hut. film was for, like, New Zealand as a country. Yeah. We like, were able to New do it. Zealand it's been years. We map. did it. Uh -huh. It's got to be one of the most exciting things of your life if you're one of those dudes stationed there. Yeah. And yeah, then they finally. finally are like, yo, we did it. <laughs> and then it's working, and then the next one goes, when and the next one goes. That must be thrilling. It's dude. like the best day of your life. You go home, and you're excitedly tell your wife, like, I finally finally got to light the fire and then your wife's like i know that means we're being invaded <laughs> it's not like, good oh. derek <laughs> well it was it was really exciting you should have been there we watched that thing every fucking day for like six months on our shifts oh god these are real mountains <laughs> yeah know? it's it's absolutely captured pure epicness especially with the music. yeah yeah scene and based on real flames byzantine empire used them uh it, like just it was faster for you know setting messages through something like that than obviously horse and rider sort of thing interesting to think about all of those technical limitations back in the day like reliance on doves as well to communicate and rohan will answer yeah yeah yes. <laughs> yes. Muster the Rohirrim. That's like that's like an Avengers Assemble kind of line. Like, muster the Rohirrim. It's what you want. Yeah, it's what everyone I love wants. It. I love it when <laughs> they it's muster. Really cool. and who's going to do it now? Who's going to do it now in Avengers? The Kang Dynasty written by <laughs> Michael Waldron. <laughs> oh. Assemble the army at Dunham. As many men as can be found. It's said it so many times, but Thaden is so awesome. I love Thaden. We ride for Gondor. And war. Oh, that armor, it looks so fucking good. I have a replica of that helmet. It's unbelievable. I don't know what it, because I was thinking about, you mentioned before, right? Like sort of the look of especially recent fantasy, like really bad fantasy shows and that Rings sort of, of power, lack man. Of Infamously identity. bad. Infamously so, bad armor. It looks so shit. It was a joke. It's so interesting because Lord of the Rings feels like essentially what people think of when they think of fantasy, and yeah. yet it still managed to retain a very distinctive identity, even in the face of a lot of a other. Fantasy movie had like there have been fantasy movies, there have been good ones, but it really hadn't pulled no fantasy movie had pulled off mass appeal. 
Like, well, I would argue like, part of the problem, possibly, is the Lord of the Rings made it feel like it was too easy or something. Like, do we need maybe. to care about any of this shit? We just get the people to do the things and whatever, and it's like, no, you don't well, understand. So much Jackson's fucking work went into this. I offer you my service, Theoden King. And gladly, I accept it. This isn't a fantasy, this is history. We're gonna treat this like we're making a history. Yeah, I'm an Esquire, history. yeah! Well, maybe, maybe, like, the mistaken belief that this was a sure thing. That, like, the Lord of the Rings being both really great and really successful was a sure thing, rather than the product of a lot of hard work and a risk. Even yeah. though, you know, Lord of the Rings is incredibly well known even before the films came out. We have to concede there's lightning in a bottle of, like, the right creators and the right people in the right time and the right place. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> A lot of the greatest films uh, of all time will have production stories that, like, everything is done by the skin of their teeth. And the right people were known at the right time. People were free to do a thing when otherwise weren't. And that it was almost, like, miraculous that it came together at the end. That for a long time they weren't sure if what they were making was great. Riders of Rohan! Oaths you have taken! Now fulfill them all! Yeah, I think um, Scarlett Johansson said that she thought Avengers, Avengers. was going to be silly yeah. until they did the Avengers shot. And then she was like, oh shit, this is going to be huge. Oh, let's go! And then over to uh, Gondor side of things. Not going I've so well. I've been fucking all night. Oh, yeah. This morning now. Yeah. <laughs> Again, those fucking prosthetics look fantastic. Sounds great. Right. And just that all of the orcs look different as well. They don't look the same. They all have different facial structures, marks, and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> But yes, this feels like dragging us back down after we got uplifted there for a yeah. while. It was a reminder of why we need Rohan now. We can't hold them! The city is lost! Could you fucking imagine the audacity to try and remake these someday? <laughs> oh, they'll have but it. They will, though. It's so rude an, uh, to even think. Oh, as shit. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna let you guys know that if these movies are ever gonna be remade, you're gonna find in the news that I became a terrorist. <laughs> Cinematic terrorist. They might be good. No, they won't. I don't, I don't feel like I just don't feel like we'd be at the timeline where we was uh, without twice it, with the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah. There's got to be a willingness to actually have uh, respect for Tolkien, which nobody in Hollywood has. Well, to be fair, uh, his work just doesn't work for a modern audience. No, it doesn't. Nobody really watches Lord of the Rings these days. The age of men is over. This is apparently uh, the, the inspiration for Gothmog's look was after the Elephant Man. <laughs> This is so fucked up if you were one of those guys. You're like, you serious? We're just trying oh, wow. to leave. You won already, jeez. I saw a fucking, like, 4chan meme that was like, Mithrandi, a greatest wizard of, like, all of time, finally arrives at a battlefield. He just turns on a big flashlight. Is. Why is he like this? <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was just funny. Yeah, that contrast. Ow, ah, it's, it's my eyes. It's in my eyes. Well, you definitely know that those Nazgul are like a fucking wizard, man. Just let us... It, uh, we were being dicks, though. But, like, ah, uh, still. To them, they were crushing croc... croc... croc roaches? Yeah, croc roaches. Crocs. Croc roaches. Crocs. Crocs, 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 are are crocs are worse than cockroaches. Anybody who wears them is worse <laughs> than a cockroach. <laughs> Do you remember in Idiocracy? That's what everyone wears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Need to rewatch that film. I haven't it's seen it. In ages. More time goes on, the more it becomes documentary. Like <laughs> holds up really well. This is the Lord Denethor predicted. Long has he foreseen this doom. Ugh. Shut up. I fucking oh, hate oh, that guy oh, for saying it? that. Denethor's been telling him Kathleen Kennedy was going to get fired over and over again. <laughs> this is not the first halfling to have crossed your path. You've seen Frodo and Sam. Oh, the fucking the hope with Gandalf at this point. Not two days ago. Gandalf. And then describing where they're heading. They're taking the road to the mobile bale. And then the pass of Kirithungal. Kirithungal, where Sam kills canonically like a thousand orcs. Tolkien had to depower Sam a little bit. <laughs> it's a nerf like, him. You sent the ring of power into Mordor in the hands of a witless halfling. I probably wouldn't have mentioned that. <laughs> I'd have been like, eh, uh, I didn't come across any ring. What do you mean? It should have been brought back to the citadel to be kept safe. Not to be used. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, buddy. if you say so. It would have been fun let me to tell see you. Uh, let me tell you what they said happened to Boromir. Boromir would have remembered his father's need. Boromir would not have brought the ring. It would have been funny to see the Denethor vision of Gollum. <laughs> like, is he 
rapidly like <laughs> deteriorates. No, no, he's already ugly enough. I don't need to see a Gollum version of Denethor. He would have stretched out his hand to this thing and taking it, he would have fallen. You know nothing of this matter. He would have kept it for his own. Man, Sam telling him that really got to him, huh? About what happened with Boromir, I mean. Boromir was loyal to me! Not some wizard pupil! Not a wasted performance though, huh? No, there's so many micro expressions there. God, imagine looking down. <laughs> Here's the thing, don't. Oh, <laughs> the fact that the army is still coming out as yeah, well. Yeah, it's yeah. always imagine... been a great detail. There's so many orcs. Imagine making that stairway. Chiseling <laughs> at it every day. Yeah. It makes you wonder, like, what kind of a city is it? Were they, they're packed in there like a clown car. Jesus Christ. It was just a really big they building. <laughs> Oh, this is seriously a chance for him to just take it off. Like, whoa. I think he just weighs yeah. it up as like, nah, it's, it's a more it's a more sure thing to let Shelob do his shit. Bruno! Get back, you! He could still do it. Oh, I, th I, I still think he weighs it up that uh, it's safer to do so. it with Shelob. Sam's not going to stop him from there. Hey, I don't know. Sam is pretty OP. <laughs> Throw the sword. He's seen, how, he's seen how, how deftly he moves. Rest he carries. I'll be bad. Oh, we about to get to share the load. Fat one cannot know. Fat one cannot know. <laughs> he melted. Smeagol sees it in his eye. Oh, Smeagol looks so good. Look at that. He looks dude. better now than he did in Two Towers. Like, there's a, there is a jump in the quality again, isn't it? Like, I think one of the most uh, telling shots in Two Towers is right when they put the rope around his neck. He kind of sticks out. But that's, like, seamless. That one was super well integrated. I think it might have been all of the, like, the sweat and the dirt and everything yeah. as well. Just kind uh, of a sense of tangibility. Same with that shot when they're just entering Sheila. Cave. He looks fucking phenomenal there. What of the wizard? I will break him. No. Where Rohan's army come? Just the sound of all of the footsteps in the background, giving such a sense of the scale of this army. This was yours. Yes, it was mine. My father had it made for me. Back before he hated me. I'm taller than you were then, though I'm not likely to grow anymore, except sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Boromir was always the soldier. Man. Yep, there's just so much going on. I think you have strength of a different kind. And one day your father will see it. Or he won't. Or he will as he's fucking burning to death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Here do I swear fealty and service to Gondor. And I shall not forget it, nor fail to reward that which is given. He just starts like... <laughs> Sucking on that ring. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> everyone's like, what the fuck? Well, he just said, uh, you know, more fealty, more, more rewards, so... I do not think we should scrape no. scrape, scrape on tomatoes. a plate. Not the fucking tomatoes. You wish now that our places had been exchanged, that I had died and Boromir had lived. Yes. I mean, that's not a huge surprise. He's kind of an ass. Since you were robbed of Boromir, I will do what I can in his stead. That's his role in this film, because we don't get to have Sean Bean's Boromir. We have him. If I should return, think better of me, father. That will depend on the manner of your return. If he just had that full auto crossbow from Van Helsing, he would have totally That's taken Osgiliath. Osgiliath would have never fallen if he had the full auto crossbow. Especially with the holy water oh, the variables. Oh, the bonus, well, yeah, yeah, damage against yeah, evil. Don't do it, Sam. Don't fall asleep. Man, I, I guess you got no choice, but like, I would feel so uncomfortable sleeping there. <laughs> they include the fact that he's like, this is fucking gross. I guess he's hoping as well that Frodo would believe him a very messy eater. He doesn't eat as- he's I mean, not he doesn't as need to be messy, messy to have enough to see a crumb or two. Very nice, friend. Oh, yes, my precious. Very nice. Very all right, all right. Sorry, it's just that you fucking sneak all the time. You Jeez. did mention as well that you were going to kill us. And you seem to be insane. We have to be moving on. But that, lock, that rock did look really comfortable, but we do need to go. It's gone. The elven bread. That expression of a gull, I'm like, oh, gee. What? <laughs> <laughs> Me? I, I don't even oh, like no, it. no, no. You're a lying rat! What did you do with it? He doesn't eat it. But as an audience member, I know that Sam is right. Except he hasn't lost any weight on this journey. Crumbs on his turtles. His turtles. It's all just raw muscle under that cloak. Sam! Oh, stop it! Sam, you're overpowered. Stop. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to go so far. I was just so, so angry. A lot of pressure right now. And a lack of food is not going to add good things. It's that thing around your neck. I could help a bit. 
I could carry it for a while. I mean, if I was like uh, a, uh, we're so close. Uh, if I was a friend so of Sam's, I'd be like, this is not the time <laughs> to suggest but this. But Sam, like, <laughs> Sam means it in such an earnest, he means it like, sorry, actually friendly yeah, way. With the best oh, intentions. I don't want to keep it. Well, well yeah, that'd be the, the truth is he's got like the best resilience to the ring out of yeah, all characters. Yeah, Sam like literally is like, I really don't want to keep it. <laughs> actually, no. just to be clear, I really don't want to keep I, it. it. It clearly fucking destroys people. Like, I, Have it's you not looked really in a mirror thing. lately, Mr. Frodo? Look at that guy over what? there. He's a fucking both, goblin guy. <laughs> they're both looking so haggard and tired yeah. and miserable. But all Frodo's thinking about is, man, Boromir. He's poisoned you against me. You've turned him against me. I like how every time you reference that, you get more goompy, like in Retarded. Yeah, yeah well, that's because the, the more you watch the movies, the more goompy and retarded they get. But that's kind of why uh, we love them. Go home. I don't like seeing really Sam goom sad. I don't like seeing it either. It's okay. This, just, this low is what's going to make the high so I much just, better. Just close your eyes and That's, think of the end yeah. of the movie. Just yeah. <laughs> it helps you to get through It'll it. It'll all be better in the end, but right now it's miserable. Seeing Sam sad is like seeing Anthony Hopkins crying in The Father. Not nice. Oh, it's just so it's tragic. It's very upsetting. He did all the best of intentions. He's such a lad. He's so pure and amazing, and he's been subterfuged. Looking out for Frodo, suggesting that he would carry it, not because he wants to keep it, but because he knows how much of a burden it is for Frodo. Mm -hmm. And his goodness has been used against him by Gollum. And the armor looks so good. It's a shame yes. it doesn't work, but it looks so good. God, these noble horsies, they work so hard and nobody ever cries for the horsies. They knew what they were getting into. I don't know yeah. if that's true. Your father loves you, Faramir. If no, the horses didn't want to die, then they shouldn't have been war horses. You will remember it before the end. That's a cool statue. It is yeah, a cool statue. Cool Something that's super impressive with the way that they've done Minas Tirith is showing us all of these different places. It doesn't feel like a small area because we keep seeing different parts of the city. Because what we see is probably the maximum amount they had to use, and they have to make you believe that it's a part of this huge structure. Establishing yeah. the mental map. But it goes yeah. a long way Very compared important. to if you only have the one place <laughs> that you keep seeing over and over and over again, and showing us just normal parts of the city as well, where like people obviously live and work. I like how Game of Thrones did this, oh. seriously, when this oh. movie was like, because this is a terrible idea and we're all gonna die. And they didn't learn their lesson, even though it was right there. <laughs> there oh, it was, was right there, there man. man! It is fascinating to think about how quickly Game of Thrones as a series got killed. A bit of a lesson, a cautionary If tale. only he had those 11 herbs and spices that Sam <laughs> brought with him for that roast chicken. What, Gondor fried chicken? Oh, jeez, can you imagine? GFC. GFC, yeah. Oh, GFC, so I love me some GFC. Not to be confused with the global financial crisis. The world. It's one of them scenes that can be analyzed day and night for a thousand years. Yep. Mist and shadow. Feels like um more than the sum of its parts. This uh, scenes like this. Cloud and shade. I think so. Definitely, absolutely. I think so. Oh, well, it feels like commentary on war uh, beyond the film, yep. beyond the story it itself. <laughs> symbolism. Denethor just eating like a fucking pig. Meanwhile, all of these men riding out to their needless deaths. Needless deaths. Because this crazy asshole, yeah. And then when you add on the elements as well, right, of, of Boromir and Faramir as like a, a big motivating element of this happening in the first place. Even Gandalf's sad. He's like, man, that sucks. Yeah, just tragic. Just it's senseless just tragic. death. Uh, and what a relief to see these lads after yes. a while. Right. Well, yeah, because we know that these are the people being led by somebody who's actually like intelligent, courageous, and Heroic. full of people. Yeah, acts like a really Rimbo. strong foil to Denethor. Aiden, he came from a low. He was in a low, a very, yeah. very bad one as well. But he managed to overcome well, it. That's got to be deliberate, right? The contract. Denethor thinks himself so far above his station, like what he deserves, what he is while Theoden is constantly insecure about like like an imposter essentially like you shouldn't be here. And that insecurity here. actually spurs him to become very much not an imposter. He is an incredibly noble it's and a genuine article character. and absolutely comes through while Denethor fails miserably. Juxtapose the I guess you could say some form of complacency with Denethor there sitting gobbling down his food yeah. while his men are sent out to die for no reason. And we immediately cut to Theoden leading the armies of Rohan. Both men 
don't feel like they're good enough. We're but one of them does something about it. We have till dawn, then we must ride. You could even compare their lines, right? I will not bow to this ranger from the north versus last time I checked, it was Theoden who was king of Rohan. Like this mm. um, frustration with Aragorn and his lineage, but at the same time, Theoden does heed Aragorn's advice, work with him, fight with him, and win mm -hmm. with him. Something I didn't know until recently it was apparently uh, Peter Jackson was not too <laughs> fond yeah. of the Army of the Ghosts. The Army of the Dead. Like as a plot element? Yeah, and that he, he ended up deciding to include them because he didn't want to remove something that significant from the books for the sake of the fans. I mean, the thing about them, they are, they present issues for me. Like, it's one of the first things I go to for Lord of the Rings flaws is just the, the Army of the Dead are so fucking overpowered, it's insane. There, a true esquire of Rohan. I'm ready. <laughs> it's weird that he uh, didn't like them for that, but... There's significantly less of them in the book than there is in the movie. Oh, I'm not going to say, I don't know what his reasons were specifically. Oh, I was just saying my reasons. <laughs> like, I, I, I think they're badass as hell. It's just that it's just difficult and the you need to restrict them more and nerf them more, I think. Well, yeah, because the wave of the, the ghost army washing over the battlefield, right? It's like, wow. You should not encourage him. Why should Merry be left behind? He has as much cause to go to war as you. I'm trying to think of if the curse could somehow... You can contrive it kind of so that they cannot they can only fight in defense they can't fight in offense mm. something like that why can he not fight for those he loves she's talking about herself it's subtextual you know as little of war as that hobbit well this is the thing about these movies is like you've got this attitude from aomir that can seem like mean it. and restrictive and narrow-minded but then we get like he ain't fucking lying he's been there he knows what yeah, this is he's yeah. been through it i mean we met him essentially on a field of dead people war is the province of men Ewan. and he's not saying it to be like men, women suck he's like no it sucks that men have to do this yeah we you don't, don't want, want to be you to have to do this you consider do yourself it. the lucky one that you don't yeah. have to do this and we do it's it's a totally different approach than what we see nowadays which is yeah, yeah war's awesome and girls war got, awesome they get and it cool. done it's one of the most interesting things that ragnarok well i man ragnarok does one of the thousand interesting things, interesting things. i don't know things. who want to say that something that's so cool about ragnarok is that they have the big hype moment of yeah let's go and then as soon as the battle begins and the music kicks in it just creates the vibe of oh this isn't this is war and this is not this is not good nobody wants this, yeah, this like is screaming bad. and the tension in the music for reference he's saying god of war ragnarok not thor ragnarok no not thor ragnarok yeah. i mean again <laughs> i like the joke but now nah, those foundations are gone Carl Urban was in Thor Ragnarok. He was. He was so in Thor Ragnarok. He went on an arc. He, he did. Remember when he was a good character? He actually had it. Yeah, that's crazy. He gave his life defending people. Defending and Asgard. He had that one extremely cool shot where he was wielding Jumped dual machine to M16s yeah. with it. And it was so fucking great. What a great character. And he, and he just showed up for that movie. You he know? introduced it as he got them from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> well, here Texas. comes another amazing scene. Yep, sorry, yep. there's just too many in a row. Wait, now we have 6,001 spears. Arwen is dying. I mean, yeah, you, you do wonder if they had that conversation. Like, are you going to join us? And he was like, no. As Sauron's power grows, her strength wanes. Is it abstractly saying, like, Sauron's power is drawing life away from I've, her, like a magical way? It's not abstract, but it's like, uh, like the elves have some sort of a life force that sustains them, that's sort of like a good versus evil kind of thing. They don't get too specific well, about I, what I it mean, is. Well, I mean, no offense, Raj, I'm waiting for Gary and Wolf to explain it more so. <laughs> so I think that's more of a movie invention, because like, I thought so, invention. yeah. yeah. Because I remember that, talking about it before. That's really in the book. In the yeah, movie, they do a decent amount, sort it, of setting it, it up, this element of, like, the elves are leaving, things are changing. You need more men. Well, even well, the concept of they call it like the light of the even star. I think in the book, they literally just call Arwen like Arwen even star, like a nickname. Yes. Like there's not really anything significant about the name even star at all yeah. in the book. Now it's, explain what they did in Rings of Power. Well, they, uh, concept, they read they, the book. They will answer to the king of Gondor. It's one of the coolest swords fucking ever. It's not overly directly... complex and try hard. It just looks really good with a great design. It has confidence in its own just simplicity. It's not overdone. So it it, it's not it speaks for itself without it needing any flashy, unnecessary elements. Sauron will not have forgotten the sword of Elendil. It truly is iconic. That's the thing. Well, this it, this oh, feels yeah, it's like it's... the top tier base design for what a sword is. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a oh. long boy. The man who can wield the power of this sword can summon to him an army more deadly than any that walks this earth. The darkness coming over the world is draining Arwen. That's what we're yeah. supposed to assume. And then they rip that in a really retarded way for rings of power to say that their life force is being drained and they need mithril to fuck <laughs> we don't have to traitors you would call upon them to fight they believe in nothing you know what's cool though as well on theme aragorn being like why the fuck would we use you know the ghosts the traitors murderers it's just on theme for lord of the rings that you have your path to redemption even the the army of the ghosts yeah. sort of well, imagine how horrible like, that curse is it's it's yeah I mean, it's not as bad as the curse of the Nazgul. It's like, are they still aware that they were once men, but they are just like these autons for Sauron now? Just being trapped in that mountain because you're a bunch of pussies. The war lies to the east. You cannot leave on the eve of battle. You cannot abandon the men. I think the thing that checks them is they're just a one-off. I mean, there, are, are, there are multiple instances throughout this trilogy of characters who brush against or almost become redeemed. You have Smeagol, you have Grima, you have, of course, the ghosts. Bad things have happened. Can you right that road? Well, yeah, and not all of them the, do. They run the uh, gamut on that. We get, we get like all the people who do, all the people who like people who don't necessarily, you know, like Theoden. He feels like a lot of what he's doing is redeeming his lack of having been in part to important events or something. It's just like there's no need to feel that way necessarily. But then you have Baromir, who really is making up for a huge mistake. Theoden's also I mean, it's lack of being a good king and lack of being a good parent. I have missed your joy since first I saw. I guess in a way he would obviously blame himself for what happened with Grima yeah. and Saruman's hold over him. And it's good to see like the results of all these different characters and where they go is some make one decision, some make the other. Yeah. Some, you know, die for it in a good way, some die for it in a bad way. But you, you see that variety and so it's easy to sort of communicate that message of redemption. Have you learned nothing of the stubbornness of dwarves? We're going with you, laddie. But of course, the critical thing being, well, I mean, you gotta, you gotta chase that redemption. You gotta work for it. Yep. It's not something that you can just stumble into. It requires very focused, directed effort. Yeah, you gotta want to change. Yep. It's, it is a difficult thing, and it wouldn't have value if it was an easy thing to do. By its very nature, it might entail a great deal of suffering and strife and, you know, work. And it might kill you, but that might be the it price. It might kill you, which is a super important one with, like, Boromir. It gets him killed. Lord Aragon! Should probably have said where they were going, just not make everyone go like, are they abandoning <laughs> yeah. us? Damn. We cannot defeat the armies of Mordor, but we will meet them in battle nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna fuck up so many Mordorians. They were doing pretty well until the elephants showed up. <laughs> yeah, the elephants kind of ruined it, huh? Well, even then. And even then, they still won. That <laughs> legendary spear they throw from Eobes. <laughs> smile again. Oh, he's asking her to smile. Wow, what a misnogynist. You shall live to see these days renewed. His facial hair is just like the perfect like amount of like gruff to it and it's shaped like it's like a trimmed hedge. No more despair. It is a perfect mix of nature and what is it like? Uh, Not nature. nature. Huh? I love nature. Nature is great. You shall pass the door to the paths of the dead. Well, nothing to worry about then. This is well, they just, at all. This is incredibly inviting. Yeah, this is like, this is where I just turn around and leave. Yeah, but that's because you're not as brave as these three lads. Well, if I was with them, if I was in the company of Gimli, Legolas, and Aragorn, yeah, we're going in. But I would go anywhere if I was with these three. Well, I would go in there if I had a gun to my head the entire time so I could kill myself before the ghost <laughs> gets me. I do not. Gimli just be like, well, I, well, I do. An elf will go underground. Well, it war, still not. Well, I'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> I'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> the, the, the only reason he's going in is the shame. <laughs> shame. Shame works. Never hear the end of it. Shame works. Unless you're buggy. <laughs> okay. Most of the time. We don't talk about anomalous Lovecraftian creatures, okay? Little hobbits do not belong in war, Master Meriadoc. All my friends have gone to battle. I would be ashamed to be left behind. You could strap a bomb to me and throw Man, me in the Man, I middle. need to end yeah. conversations like that. I want to fight! I will say no more. I will say no more, and then just yep. say no more. Yeah, but imagine how embarrassing it would be if they said something that made you angry and then you did say more and be like, oh, well, that's the God, thing you gotta, mm -hmm. that's where the skill comes in. Yep, that's you gotta saying. show restraint. Uber! Uber! 
Well, what if you say, I will say no more, and then they say, okay, I won. Well, Just keep going. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah that that is sometimes, a, that's, sometimes that's you know, you got to weigh it up. That's what you can't say, I will say no more lightly. Oh, here we go. These jerks. <laughs> You know you can fit oh, like they're playing music. This is all this and huge uh, setup for for the Minister of Battle. I was like, you could have watched like one and a half the Marvels already. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. There was hey, the Marvels is great. There was it, a lot of setup so and great characters and something Lickens. about teamwork or something. Yeah, there's no men in team, but there is Wait a me. A also an eat. Yum. I love that fucking meme from uh, Short of the Dead where he says there is no I in team, but there is an I in pie, meat pie, and meat. An anagram of team. They're all just like, what? <laughs> What's that have to do nice. with anything? Let it go. Look at this! All right, guys, it's getting really spooky in here. Have you guys noticed? We got a little <laughs> touchy feely. Personal space. This is like some of the most overt fucking <laughs> comedy relief of Ghibli ever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the desperation. There is an element of like, you know, it follows. You get to blow it away. Do not look down. <laughs> you have one. <laughs> the amount of time, of you know. He's, you know, he's thinking about it so much. <laughs> this is just something that we as modern people can't appreciate. You'll, we'll never know the feeling of crunching over. A floor made of human skulls. Uh, not with that attitude. That's right. Believe to achieve. Mm-hmm. Don't let your dreams be memes. The dead do not suffer the living to pass. Dude, I'm not even 100% clear on how they made the ghosts exactly, but they look fucking amazing. The several layers of, like, yeah. ghostly flesh. And then mm -hmm. they, yeah, get more and less transparent to see the layers. It looks so, god, ah, creepy. Now you must die. That was definitely yeah. a really, dude. <laughs> uh, he just grabs the ghost because I'm the king of Gondor. The blight was broken. It has been remade. Uh, so, well, yeah, duh. Let's negotiate. Fight for us and regain your honor. This does suck being here, I guess. Only so many times you can play hopscotch before you're just like, all right. Yeah. That was tic-tac-toe as well. Remember when they couldn't figure out how tic-tac-toe worked in Black Widow? Oh, what? what? The one where they played it in a way that was absolutely bizarre. Yeah, like, they had tic-tac-toe on the wall. They fucked it up. <laughs> how do you it fuck up tic-tac-toe? Fight for me. And I will hold your oaths fulfilled. You that figure you just play like a regular game yep. or something and then it's like, yep, there you go, we got it. That's a question that could be applied to Disney. How do you fuck up tic-tac-toe? What do you mean they fucked up tic-tac-toe? <laughs> go watch my video on it. I don't know what <laughs> happened. Wait, what? Why have you drawn the line down when you have three across? Wait, how did you put down every circle without trying to stop the crosses player whatsoever? They landed a full line twice? Did you just come on set and drop random X's and O's with a line to try and come across as though a human might have have played this? Why the fuck didn't you just play a game of tic-tac-toe for real? How do you fuck up tic-tac-toe? Well, this oh, this is shit. a little bit of trolling on the part of the the ghost yeah, of King Man. Yeah, this is trolling yeah. because oh, and they could only do this once too. They made yep. it count, and they have been waiting to do this because they were going to agree. But he's like, only if you get past my avalanche of skulls. Well, I, mean, I wonder we took if this time. is like them agreeing, like they've released the wall and the skulls are coming out. Maybe that's like symbolic of them saying yes, but in a creepy trolly way. <laughs> so that was our way of saying yes. We just like our pizzazz. A little dramatic. Didn't mean you to know? scare you. That would have been like another sort of settlement outside of Gondor that the mm -hmm. Corsair's fucked up. Sorry about the skulls, that was a thing. We fight. Look, we came up with the skull idea a long time ago. We've really yeah. been dying to use it. Had to follow no, through on just it. Just before we leave, tell us. It was us, kind of honest. a... It's kind of a dare cool for Fred over there. Yeah. Like he was said, it a little I, frightening? That was cool. You thought that was cool, right? Be honest. You thought that was fucking amazing. All right, come on. How many other skull avalanches have you seen? Yeah. When will yeah. you ever be able to be in a Man. skull avalanche again? Ethically, I mean. Because, Aramir really whoa, taking his Boromir cosplay too far there. Well, speaking of skull avalanche, the guys on the wall are about to get uh -huh. a bit of one. <laughs> 
looking this is, warg. Oh, he looks great. The, the, this this shit though from for uh, Sauron, he must be like you know I've got all these incredible aspects. I'm gonna fuck them up, and then it's like you guys have an army of ghosts. He's not what? handicapped. He's handy capable. Look at him. Well, see that was the big problem with Gothmog. You shouldn't you shouldn't portray people with uh, with awkward walks as evil. Mm -hmm. Did you say awkward? Yes. Nice. Fear. The city is right with it. Does he have a Hitler mustache? I thought you were going to say, does he have another head on his <laughs> like, head? But no, we I, just, I, I, I love the head-wearing head, man. The head-wearing head is pretty good. <laughs> I thought I noticed hair under his nose and was like, they didn't give Gothmog a Hitler mustache that I only just noticed, did I? Oh, also, this, seeing it in the cinema, I was legit like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> like, yeah, are we allowed man. to do this, that? Holy shit. These the hostages. I think you could tell with this one, they were really skirting the line at some oh, yeah. times. I mean, that tomato... Ugh. I fucking always remembered this visual. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's not yeah. that so beautiful. Rohan has deserted us. And then, to, the and then to say Rohan kind of like, deserted us. What a fucking prick. I, I love how the music there is just kind of like emblematic of him going insane looking at this shit. Burdens betrayed me. Shut up. Abandon your post. I feel like everyone is like, for real? What? Wait, really? What? What? Oh, we have nowhere we to that? fucking oh. go. Oh. <laughs> oh, that disdain. Shut the fuck up. Prepare for battle! To the wall! Defend the wall! But we were gonna flee! Flee for our lives! I mean, some of them looked like they were legit, like, we, we, we're, we're giving up, right? No, okay, Gandalf, yes. All right. When Gandalf, Gandalf tells you to do yeah. something, you fucking do it. Send these foul beasts into the abyss! Send yeah. these foul beasts into the abyss. Oh god, this this battle is so cool. I do like Gothmog just being like, uh, look at them <laughs> sending this yeah. bullshit. If this was Game of Thrones, the orcs would have let off with a cavalry charge against the walls. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Oh. Hit us with more rocks, you're just giving us Ooh. more ammunition. Yeah. Oh man, it's such a like, especially if you nail a tower, oh, you're feeling pretty it good. I it the side, it, yeah, it takes the are. whole side out. Ah, uh, then of course. Here it is, yeah. <laughs> Stay where you are, right, Gothbog? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Move out of the way. Well, alright, that's pretty, that's pretty cool, okay? That troll as oh, well. Oh, here we go, here we go! Oh, no, yeah. fuck. <laughs> Epic. The music. This is my favorite music you'll hear in this movie. Remember the Simpsons parody of this? <laughs> There's a Simpsons parody just... of this? Yes, there is. Look at the dude. Look at that. It's so oh. fucking oh. And the music is so fucking. You also, epic. the Wish King has one of the like, coolest masks and everything ever. I like how in Shadow of War they made him look stupid. You hmm. don't like that. You're lying. The fact that they're like terrifying, they can get to everywhere, and the scream just being like crippling to everyone as well. Yeah. They're trying their hardest, but I mean, they are outnumbered. And Being plucked and dropped. That's so what I mean. They do a really good job of making the Minister side powerful, but also essentially getting destroyed mm -hmm. like yeah, this is this is not a weak moment. force but what could they do there's so much Gandalf's really getting into it well, yeah, Someone he just, asked, he, dude. yeah he realized like he's the main source of morale for all of these guys ah, I fell off and that one guy who fell off it's like oh shit get yeah. all the way there what a jerk get all the way there I'm just it's not this, taking long and already <laughs> this is kind of funny to think about it's like yeah this will do it those towers, man, you gotta get rid of them. They're so fucking good. Go back to the Citadel! Now here we get some badass Gandalf shit. <laughs> Pretty sure just those small amounts of movements you see from him here are like, like several moves in the game are modeled for that. Yes, that surprised you, didn't it, Gandalf? It surprised that orc even more. Yeah, he's yeah. like, the fuck? Did I just get stabbed by a child? The like, wizard would <laughs> level up like 30 times. And then this hobbit kills me. Just the the pile of corpses, and then they just start running up them to do the battering ram. The door won't give! It's too strong! They really don't want us getting inside, sir. Smash it down! But nothing can reach it! But she can. <laughs> she log and comes she up to the gate. Out <laughs> and just goes into the Whatever you just say, but she can to anything. She loves shows up. 
<laughs> it just does whatever the thing is. You cannot wield I, it. None of us can. But she can. You can't can. cook this roasted chicken thoroughly at this size and temperature. No. But she can. That's a really cool looking battering ram, right? It looks very, it's very evil looking. It has a lot of it's character. Very, Remember when they put it in the Gollum game? The oh my god. A fucking game, man. What? <laughs> it's the ugly runt of the Lord of the Rings IP. Does this creature... <laughs> but is it the ugly runt or is it Rings of Power? I feel like Gollum... The... Rings of Power I wouldn't describe as an ugly runt. I would describe it as a horrible monstrosity. It's an ugly oh, okay. cunt. Oof. No, Peter Jackson. <laughs> hey, it's okay. They killed him before he could make the Hobbit movies. I can imagine the three are like, the Corsairs, they got a knife. Take him down. I will say, they're a little lucky the Corsairs didn't immediately fire a volley at them. It's going to be fucking wild to be on those ships and seeing that. Like, oh, imagine okay, you fell off the back of the it. ship, washed up some days later, and then, like, told that story. Ooh. Nobody would It's hard you. to believe that we have almost two hours left. Oh, it is a chunky film. Delicious. Succulent. Like right here, Gollum looks fucking fantastic. Yeah, he does look good. Yeah, almost as good as Jaw Jaw Binks. Nobody, uh, nobody said anything about that, so I assume everyone agrees. Totally agree. Oh, sorry, I was listening to Gollum. What? The Binker. Misa agrees. Oh, Jar Jar Binker Rooney. Did, you, did you just fucking call him the Binker? <laughs> the Binkster. <laughs> I mean, we still, everyone still wants Binks' a Star Wars story to happen. I still want him to be a Sith. I, need to I know feel how like got... a Jar Jar Binks film would make more money than most Star Wars or Marvel films. Especially uh, if we could get a pretty bad practical suit and then just the actor and. You know, just, just <laughs> the Tatooine set, yeah. and that's it. We, don't, we, bring don't back, we bring back the actor, and he just clearly has this human face there showing, but he has, like, the puppet mask on top of him like he had in the uh, scenes. Oh, no. It, and they just guys, play it like that. Do you guys remember that Beowin drawing of Jay, but with, like, big ears and the fucking Jar Jar eyes sticking out of his oh, head? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, that's just, a good one. Just, just do that, but with the actor. Mm -hmm. And then he makes the same voice. <laughs> it could be just ruthlessly The thing shitty. about it is, if the budget stays under, let's say, like, five million or whatever, it'll make a profit. <laughs> it'll make money. <laughs> Everyone will be like, yo, did you see this Jar Jar movie? Yeah, it's you gotta like, see the Jar Jar movie. It's insane. Halfway through, he can, like, stab a child to death, and then the movie just doesn't it, address it's it right at all. There. He runs the... from the police, and it turns into an episode of Cops. He would. He, he feels guilty because he's the reason that Palpatine is where he is. That's, that's easy. It's, it's right there. Yeah. Is there a monkey in here? What the fuck? He's like a gorilla anything. skeleton. This is, you do love that this is Frodo like, hang on a sec. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. This, is, this is one of those places you don't go, isn't it? It's good that Sam doesn't have crippling depression and decided to just throw himself off the cliff. I mean, it, it feels weird that he legit was like, well, back to the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take a bit, but I'll get there. I think that's a, a meme that someone made of him just like going back to the Shire while Frodo gets stabbed to death. Yeah, I saw this as a criticism. I just thought it was funny that it was like Sam picks this up and then says, "Wait a minute!" So I didn't eat the bread, even though, like. <laughs> but, but of course, the what you're supposed to take from this is it's like confirmation that Gollum sabotaged it as opposed to anything like else. He knows. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't being. Yeah, I do kind of think that that whole sending Sam away was not really necessary for the movie. Um, I could see the the the, the idea because like it's just if Sam were here right now, I don't think this works as well. You're as like, Mr. Frodo, aspects. we are not going in this fucking tunnel. I love the horror of this part and I don't know if it's, it's not going to be anywhere near as scary if Sam's here. Definitely oh, no, that's not necessary true. for him to, uh, it's still a perfect trilogy but definitely not necessary <laughs> for him to be leaving. Oh, there she is. I, I love the show. Uh... Hello! I would be shitting my pants. Spiders at their normal size are not great. So when they're this big, it's like, oh, fuck. It's not even just the way spiders look. The way they kill is, like, fucking horrifying. Yeah, yeah. the insect world is the nightmare realm. You know, the fact that, like, commonly speaking, big cats will hit you in the throat and you die. Like, that's, it's like, well, that's preferable. <laughs> oh, this part where he's like... 
Oh, yeah, this was like, oh, this is so fucking tense. Well, because the shadow comes up first, right? And it's getting bigger and bigger. Oh, the desiccated corpse is hanging down. And that looks like some particularly sticky webbing. Yeah. I think Gollum just, just fucking trolling in the background. Yeah, that's the fresh web came right out of her butt. Especially now that we've talked about it, I just keep noticing like Gollum really, they stepped him up for this uh, film compared to yeah. Towers. He looks really good. Oh, he's like, yep, I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> God, that's such a good scene. Oh. That's what's sad. It's the tension. Jeez. Like, oh, fuck, Frodo. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and then the sword. Oh, no. no. Gollum, give him a fucking second here. <laughs> fuck you. Oof. Even though Sam made all that bread, I still hate you. Spiegel wouldn't hurt, master. God, you're really making you this were difficult. You as I was trapped in the web, you fucker. Well, but that's what's so good about this is that, uh, it's just Frodo realizing, like, there is a good guy in there. It's the ring that brings out the bad side all the time. And he knows. We can he destroy it. Knows. And we could be free of it. Saving Gollum is saving himself. Because Sam would have fucking thrown him off the cliff already. But that's the uh, difference, is that Frodo can directly yeah. understand Gollum. This is Gollum what I have to do. Sam can't. There needs to be a path back for Gollum so that Frodo can believe in his own. So that Frodo has his own path back, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, interesting too is that back. even if Smeagol had died there, that would have been like, like a completed. He made his yeah. choice. I would. Like, that much could as, have been the end. I totally agree. I fucking love the shot of Smeagol getting the ring. It's such oh, a... absolutely! It's so good. I'm so sorry, Sam. Frodo's having a really fucking bad day. It's not great. It's not great. He's about to discover that it can actually get worse. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Day, oh day oh god, he's got day. he's got quite a journey left yet. <laughs> this is where Galadriel comes and said, "Oh, I could take that Shelob thing in one swing of a sword, pussy." You know, I killed an ice troll. <laughs> I, I, killed an ice I killed an ice troll by myself. Under ten seconds. I feel insulted so to call her <laughs> call her Galadriel at all. This is the real Galadriel. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. No, this no, she, the... she's not screaming autistically into the camera. She's not this a warrior not. with the sword. Yeah, I don't see any tempest in her. She's not making that facial expression that seems like she just smelled something extremely foul. I've always really loved that. This like she can sort of like dude, it's help fucking wonderful in this way. And then and he then... gets up and he's like, "Oh, was that me all along?" You have this, and it's such an invigorated, like, yes, you can do it. And the way they, they shoot Shelob coming around toward him, you're like, oh, no. Prepare to move out! Make haste! And they know they, they know how to make haste, because Shadow Fact showed them the meaning of it earlier in the movie. So that's a, that's a through line that I appreciate. They call that setup and payoff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's make like a baby and leaf. What? You just sometimes you just go with it. Well, and you gotta set them on fire too. It's not a bit bad mean. enough. Yes, you must set them on fire. Oh, he's got a little yellow flag. Oh no, that's a torch. Never mind. <laughs> oh, he's got a yellow, had, like, yellow, a little yellow flag. flag. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, look at him. He's bringing this little yellow look, flag. Look, Gothbog, I brought my little like... yellow flag. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh no, that's a torch, and it's on fire. Oh, uh, this fucking part, it, this, this shit evokes memories for me, not just in the films, but the games as well, it's some epic, uh, difficult shit, but uh, Gandalf's reaction every time is what I always think about. Yeah, this is some wild shit, Denethor. There is no hope for men. There is hope for men. Look, there's a flower. There hope for gay men. Some straight men like flowers. I love flowers. You're not straight. You're not straight. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sometimes I forget. If I... Some flowers are way better than others, I will say that. Flowers are on a massive spectrum. Of okay. gay. Bring, Bring me wood, wood and oil. oil. Yeah, this is the element of like, you know, I gotta make sure that we fuck up whatever comes through, but even he didn't expect what comes through. Look at that. Hello! Oh shit. <laughs> just like, what the <laughs> fuck? Backup yeah. gate. I, I've always really liked their spears. They have this slender, needle-ish kind of like sharp look to them. Critical yeah. hit. Yeah. Yeah. Uppercut with the sword. Hyperson of your rolls, baby. <laughs> it probably is a really good thing that we have that cutaway of a lot of stuff happening between Gladriel helping him up in this. Yeah, because I guess you don't want to juxtapose it so hard that it's like that. But oh, look at it. 
It's so uh, gross. Uh, spiders. I love the silence of it as well. At least it's not one of those oh, yeah. really spindly yeah. spiders with a long ass thin legs. At least it's a chunky spider. Well, apparently this design was chosen because Peter Jackson finds these spiders the scariest. Oh, it's it's the really it's, for me it is the fast moving long, -legged ones. long legs. Yeah, the, the, yeah, like the ground spiders. But, they just seem less terrifying. They oh, the, those sand them. spiders that you find on the beach and it's just fucking there and it's really fast. Boom. And I will say as well, my fear of spiders. <laughs> Is, is cranked like crazy if I have any remote thought that they might be poisonous, which is rare because I'm in Britain. But like, you know, if they have like any kind of coloring or bright color on them, I always just assume like, wait, does that mean it's poisonous? Oh my god, well, spiders I mean, not yeah, necessarily. Yeah, well, no, that's the thing. I don't know shit all about how spiders point. work. I just fear them. Because yeah. <laughs> around here, the poisonous ones are by no means bright. Oh, well, yeah, that's right, it's just brown. Urban. It's just brown recluses that's and black widows here. You guys, it's you know, it's not like yeah. Here. For us, we have. <laughs> I don't even know if there are fucking lethal spiders oh. in Britain. Let him go, you filth. This is such a fucking vibe. This is hyper Having him come back with the little fanfare. He's got the light. Actually, he's got the sword in to fight. Oh. She loves. Also, when he said "let him go," she loves. Should have said very poor choice of words. <laughs> <That, that laughs> Drop the body. Spider is pretty big. What just? <laughs> <laughs> If Galadriel was watching this, she'd be so fucking Ah, get impressed. it away from me. I fucking hate it. Those are the tears of an ice troll, by the way, that yeah. got kicked away. Tears of an ice troll. Well, and the sword is <laughs> actually the tooth of an ice troll. God, it's Ooh. just Jesus. Yeah, this is where you have to really get that courage oh, going. Oh, tear of an ice troll. Oh, uh, your is, feet on his Hobbit fucking head. Power. Oh, yeah. it's all oh, the God. mandibles. And he rolls off its back. Oh, I got seven more of those. Fuck. Well, that was the thing about the design of Shilob. It looks like this is a creature it's that's lived for a long and, time. Yeah. yeah. Here it comes. Oh, oh the butt spike. Oh, yeah, if no. you're going to do anything, it's don't let that fucking thing hit you. Ah, uh, swords in my gut. My only weakness. And Shilob's like, okay, draw. Draw. We good. Fucking uh, Sam. Like, drags beating a back. giant, giant spider. And no one will ever believe him. You have to imagine if, that, uh, um, if Gollum was still here, Sam would fuck him up so bad. It'd be like a fatality in Mortal yeah. Kombat. <laughs> Can't catch a break. No. God, the orcs look so good. All the makeup and the outfits. Not as good as CG, though. That's it's way true. better. We could just all make them look shittier for more money. That is true. We uh, could yeah. just do that. She jabs him with us, Stinger. Then she has her way with them. She has what? She has her way she, with them. Oh my she, god. I, she rapes her victims. The Uruk guy is more like, I, I don't care. Can we just take him? Not like, even we do that. I don't even know what we have going on down there, honestly. What, what do you mean? Saruman had to tell the uruk not to rape the Hobbit. Exactly. Yes, he was yeah. explicit. Yeah. I bring them back unspoiled. That's true. Unspoiled. Shelob's like, nah, spoil him. Shelob? Shelob. Shelob. Don't have a cool as Shelob. Like it just makes it sound retarded. Some kind of racism, I don't know. Spider lady. No, spider lady is what they ended up doing to her in Shadow of War, and that was just embarrassing. But was she hot, though, uh, Wolf? Isn't that what matters? Yeah, that, that well, that was the part that was weird. They made the fucking that was the spider part. hot. <laughs> I release you from my service. The original cut for this was apparently four and a quarter hours, right? Imagine having that. And then being told you have to get it down to like, you know, theatrical length. It's gonna be one of those painful things. And then you release the special editions, and no. I wonder what happens if he just said no anymore. Well, I guess he'd be in legal trouble if he just said no. <laughs> His Justice League was a uh, two-hour mandate, right? The mandate was two hours. Yeah. And then just the Marvels is a recent example, recent ish anyway, of like the destruction of a timeline, time code. It's Holy crazy way. seeing uh, how good Joss was able to make a movie like Serenity in only two hours, but then he just could not salvage. <laughs> Zack Snyder's no. fuck up. I'm, I'm happy to put blame on him somewhat. Like some of the stuff in the Joss We shouldn't have taken the job. Cringe. Well, he wanted Batgirl, right? That was the idea. Man, if only Bronwyn was here to kill all these orcs single-handedly. You remembered her name. Yeah. Who? Yeah, see? Bronwyn. <laughs> Bronwyn. Yeah. The Rings of Power Lady. Which There's one? way more she than was, one Rings was, of Power Lady, Rex. <laughs> she was the orc slayer. No, she was the, the village medic. Yeah, the orc. She was the village she was everything. Orc 
she oh, was she your girlfriend? Oh, was she the black milk chick? The black milk chick? Wait, no, no. <laughs> she's yeah, white. Right. No, she no, had no, the dispensary. She had no, the middle. No, no. Dispensary. I, I, the, was she the chick who like milked the cow and the cow's milk was black? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Here, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, but she was yeah, the yeah. one that Treadwell. We should, we should not be talking about this on this scene. Yeah. Good God. I almost want to rewind. You can't, though. <laughs> this is the shit. Fire sword. Can you beat that? Yeah, Reva's lightsaber. Look at that. Staff broken. I don't even need it, bitch. Is the Witch King a reflective power level of Gandalf? In the movie or in the book? Well, since I've seen movies. the movies and I'm still asking that question. Like, <laughs> the Witch King of Angmar is very powerful, but could not stand up to Gandalf. I like how you can just look up the best scene of any movie on YouTube, and this <laughs> is what shows up. This is pretty hard to top. We did talk about this at one point, I think, that this is just such an easy pick for the best part. Especially the visual as well of all the people of Rohan seeing, like, Minas Tirith is in desperate need of help. I mean, there's so many shots that look like paintings. Yeah, like, this just looks completely natural. Oh, yeah. That, Even that, that shot of him completely. right in front of it. Yeah, it's all CG, but, like, the way they do it, it's just so fucking good. <laughs> What could be said? Uh, the, the, it's the this cinema. Is, it's the cinema. It's the synthesis of visuals, music, acting. This scene, this scene fires me up. I want to go into battle every time I see it. Yeah! This is, where, oh, this is no. the perfect leader to send them into basically doom. Yeah. Also, Theoden's speech is better than Aragorn's. I feel like this scene, in terms of an influence, so many movies want to do the charge, but they're never this good. Yeah, and they oftentimes aren't as justified. No, it's, they, uh, like the Infinity War, that one makes well, no Endgame. fucking sense at all. That, and Endgame. Not even that made sense. This one makes, like, it's the best one. It's the best one. Yeah, it I, has I, I can't so imagine much build up this. to it, too. And, like, the way that everyone screams death, and it's just, like, this thunderous noise of thousands yep. of people's voices. Well, it feels like we've earned the triumphant feeling that this scene evokes of everybody being amped up and ready to fight to save the world. So many dying here and the momentum doesn't change at all. Because the look on their faces after yeah, this volley. Yeah, they real scared. Like, oh shit, uh oh. Oh, look at him! Ah! Yeah! My boy. <laughs> the fact he actually did that on a horse was just like, yeah. damn. Yes! <laughs> When you have the music ramp up and then you cut to all of the diegetic sounds of the Smashing. battle. Oof. And seeing this in the theater for the first time, I, it was uh, jaw dropping. What are like? Oh, this, well, this, is, is, this is an experience. I think I've talked to Drinker about an open boss several times. It filled me with so much about film. I was like, so ready to watch this for the rest of my life in the form of mm -hmm. other media. Lol. The epitome yeah. of epic. <laughs> but yes, lol indeed. As we've said several times, we come back to this because. Somehow it wasn't the foundation that many other incredible films were built on. Instead, it was poorly imitated at best. Dude, we never got one fucking good fantasy movie after this. Oh my god. I would not wow. We probably had some. <laughs> well, I mean, you got Game of Thrones for a while there. That's, That's not, not a, film. a movie. No, I, I know, but you know, you got that. Well, we got three <laughs> seasons and nine episodes. Yeah, of don't it. invoke <laughs> Game of Thrones yeah. at this point. It's not with <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I mean, Mary and Pippin coming through. Life. I don't even know which I'd pick as doing the more crazy shit. I don't cause... know. I'm not sure. They both do crazy shit. No! no, I had this all planned out. Gandalf's definitely at the uh, I am fucking tired of your bullshit level. Yeah. Wow, his head has had a really long day. <laughs> it's getting hit by sticks, spears, horses. Dad, why are you on fire? <laughs> What's what going the fuck's on? happening? Oh. oh shit! Oh god, I regret everything! Fire yeah. hurts! No, this is probably one of the most ridiculous parts, how far he runs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, <laughs> runs <laughs> he runs real far. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how far we ride. Oh, there it goes. Well, the, the best part is, it's like they were on the left side of that tower, so yeah. he had to. Yeah, there was a bridge. Yeah. He could have just jumped off the bridge instead. <laughs> no, they, they wanted the visual of him going off that mountain. Also, this might be one of the greatest blueprints ever for filmmakers to understand the highs and lows to create drama. We In keep balancing from feeling like we're going to lose to feeling like, oh, we were going to win, and then we're back to feeling, like, oh, fuck, maybe not. And then the really important part being that there's justification for those peaks yes. and dips. 
Dude, yeah, this I this mean, shot oh, lives in my head rent free no. as well. The just oh, getting all of the fuck. reactions and then oh there they are. And the orcs Holy running shit. to them like save us. And <laughs> even then, Thayden immediately is like, all right, reform the yep. line. All right, yeah, all right, yep, yep, yep. We can still win this, guys. Come on, because you need they need. There is there is no other option. The there eyes. is no we give up. Yeah. There's like we keep fighting no you matter need what. To believe that they can win. Reform the line. Reform the line. One of the strongest examples of undercutting. Just, yeah, let's go. And the music ramping up again to go, yeah, mm -hmm. look at him go. They're gonna charge and they're gonna win. Shot, yep. As and soon as the music gonna... cuts. Yep, just Whee! hard cut. Look at him. They're getting absolutely annihilated. I don't know what it is, but it's just Notice incredibly that sword effective through the air. so many times when you just hard cut to the diegetic sounds of the battle. It also helps that we get so many shots from down on the ground with all the Rohirrim. Absolutely. Yeah. So you get a sense of scale for just how fucking massive these things are. We need to make sure that we have our perspective on the ground so that we understand just how chaotic and scary the situation is. And man, these the elephants, they just hit hard. Once again, like, Okay, very distinct cultural differences for this team. Yeah! Here we go. Do it! <laughs> Aomir try to be Legolas. And succeeding. Oh, Standing up to a fucking elephant like that, yeah. That still only counts as one. Kilimanjaro, Killionaire, running right. Oh, I guess he wasn't running. Oh, but... friggin' believable. Even though know, it felt like it was almost hopeless, but now we're seeing a, a lot of different methods to take yep. down the Muma kill. Yeah. A lot of this was cut from the theatrical. Yeah, yeah, Goth her fight with Gothmog was, was definitely cut, yeah. You know, one thing that I wonder how difficult it must have been is, uh, how hard must it have been to cut Howard Shore's score? Yeah. Because, like, you listen to the, uh, the complete recordings, and it's like, yeah. how the fuck could you have possibly trimmed any of this? It's insane. Because those things are long. It's it's a huge collection. Well, yeah, the the complete recordings are almost as long as the fucking movies themselves. Uh -huh. They recorded a lot of music. And it's the greatest soundtrack ever made. Really? Yep. And right now, it's possibly one of the greatest quotes of The Lord of the Rings. The gray rain curtain of this world rolls back and all turns to silver glass. And then you see it. White shores and beyond. The far green country to a swift sunrise. Gandalf, he is just fucking awesome from start to finish. A man who has lived an unbelievably long life. Like, he is thousands of years old by this point. I mean, I say man, he's not even a man. He's like essentially like an angel or an angelic being that's been sent down to help Middle-earth. A man who has to balance the fate of an entire world in his plans, in all of the things that he sets in motion, has to be in so many different places, has to do so much to try and make things happen as they need to, um, battles all these incredible... Uh, terrifying enemies like Balrogs and takes on Saruman and is tempted by the ring but rejects it. Like he comes through all of that, but can still find the time to take care and and try to give comfort to hobbits, to like Merry and Pippin, to give them like little encouraging speeches and things like I, this. It, it's such a great balance of a character, a man who can see the the world in the grandest scale imaginable, but also can still care about the, the lowliest of individuals and just yeah an awesome an awesome inspiring character who just never falters <laughs> I love how vicious that throw was. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just obvious the Witch King is to take out this guy. He's fucking too good. <laughs> Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. Spend as much of the film as they have to build up the Witch King and then to have her be the one to fight him. Oh, the way he gets up and the wings mm -hmm. still, uh, so still, cool. still convulsing a bit. Uh, the reveal of the chained mace. Apparently that thing was so fucking heavy that it like all of the takes were like every single shot had to be like done a new take almost. The fucking, this the flowing of his whole outfit, the screams, yep. the music, the look of him yep. is terrifying and badass. <laughs> She's so outmatched. Ow. She's broken right there. That's what I mean. We're, we're back to the low again. We're losing hard. You remember, you see the ships and you're like, oh yeah, that's right. Like three of our important characters. Head on head. 
It's head on head. <laughs> they have a one six scale of that character. I have it. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> do you ever pet the top head? I uh, every day. For luck. Perfect. What? What? That's definitely like I don't understand what's happening. What the fuck? I am no man. We should send that clip to oh. Synthetic Man. <laughs> really should. Mary Sue. 50! 60! Still keeping count. I love how fucked up she looks. So many movies, like, they just have to make sure that the actors still look pretty. And it's like, no. Well, yeah, yeah. Always have our makeup on. Always have the hair did. It's like, nah, she's been fighting a battle. <laughs> I love how they they kill him so casually. Yeah, it's just like he's just one another of the orc. many orcs. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, oh, I never noticed how the trunk tries to hit him off. I hate it when people reference this scene to defend stupid parts of Rings of Power, and it's always like, you guys know this scene is widely referred to as the worst part of the entire trilogy, right? Well, in terms of just it's. It breaches on super ridiculous. Whatever. People were freaking. Oh, every, everyone here loves it. it. The point is just that you take the troll kill from Fellowship, which feels very almost grounded, but elf power. Yeah. Then two he towers. Really, once he's on it, he doesn't really do anything that's unbelievable. And he clearly struggles a bit, like when he's hanging off the side. Well, and it feels hell of a lot more earned. Yeah, absolutely. While, all things considered. That part's and a then, bit showy. I still only count as one! That, that's just legendary. <laughs> <laughs> it will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like that in an ironic way, but I still think it's incredibly stupid for the trilogy. Nah. I wouldn't go that far. I think, I think it jumps I, the I gun think they're a little pushing too far. It. Jumps the shark? Jumps the gun shark. I know your face. Heroin. Crazy to think about when we first saw him. He was just old and decrepit and pale and Grima Wormtongue and Saruman were like controlling him. I'm going to save you. You already did. And then at the end, he saved Minas Tirith. He saved... He saved men! I go to my father's, in whose mighty company I shall not now be the shame. One of the best kings ever. One of the most pivotal characters. Theoden is, uh, I love his redemption arc uh, after falling in, you know, under the, you know, under the spell and, you know, just absolutely being devastated within the movie. I'm talking about the movie concept of it. So he's being uh, taken over by Saruman and Wormtongue has gotten to him and he, and when he wakes up, his son is dead and he feels like he's failed his niece and nephew completely he fails his kingdom this man just feels like he's not worthy of being a king and he fights through that he needs help but he's just he's such a good man he's such a good man at the end and it's played so well plus he has the best fucking speeches and he oh. and he also works kind of as a surrogate for the audience when you're like in the middle of this battle he's like how in the fuck did we get here like what you know what happened to men you know uh, the days have gone down in the West, uh, and it's such a brilliant performance through and through. Uh, that's why he's my favorite character. But it's it's uh, I, you know I love a a good redemption arc. Mm -hmm. So not that he not that it was necessarily his fault, but still, and he takes responsibility I like that too. Release us! You gave us your word. Yeah, that feels like a slight acknowledgement of like set him to Mordor, and you're like. No, we can't do that. <laughs> also, they probably wouldn't do it. They'd probably be like, you fucking lied to us. Well, that's that's what I'm saying, is that that's why yeah. that's there mechanically, but this like, is, all Aragorn has to you know, do is, yeah. when he makes that oath, say, with us the, the war against Mordor, and then I'll free you. And if they'd agree, you know... Uh... I feel like this is so absent from so many films, the acknowledgement of the cost of these these victories. No! Oh, this scene is fucking amazing. That man is... Carl Urban giving it all he's got. That moment gives way more context to what he was saying to it earlier. That's what you get for stabbing Witch King. It's the same for Mary, right? Uh, yeah, like, you could... Yeah, he clearly it recoiled. His whole hand was like, ugh. I wish I had your relationship with your dad. <laughs> a Muma kill could feed like Minas Tirith for a week. Yeah, maybe the whole city for a week. Get yeah, to the, <laughs> to the fridge. Yeah. Mary, it's me. 
God, the journey these two have been on while separated. Oh, they both got stories to tell that neither will believe the other. It's so funny too, because it's like we wrap it up. It's like no, we got loads of movie left. No, <laughs> no, bitch. There's an hour left. <laughs> oh, what a day it's been, Frodo. Are we gonna take his pants off? No, we're not Sheila. I'm saying Shelob. What is Shelob? <laughs> Shelob. 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 What the fuck is Shelob? Shelob. You keep saying Shelob. Shelob. How is it that you keep watching these movies I and know. you keep <laughs> pronouncing all their names wrong? You pronounce everyone. <laughs> Let's talk about this. <laughs> oh, I spilled all my shitty stew. The scum tried to knife me. Do you like how they try to avoid showing his mouth with those words? Because it would never have worked with the teeth he had. They look so good! They'll never look bad, ever. They'll always look amazing. Ow! Oh, I don't even know what that was, but ow! All it right. was a giant stone egg. It was just yeah. like a big... Yes. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna throw it at someone. Grandma gave this to me for my birthday. God, it looks so good. Like, the the model oh, that yeah. I guess they use for that, and the... Oh, those... I've always... Those statues were always so creepy. Look like Geiger. Vultures. Yeah. Vultures. Sam is like, what the fuck? Sam, it's time to get your kill streak, buddy. <laughs> Sam can say that he just killed all these yep. people. Yeah, and no can tell I, I would. I would. <laughs> that would be funny if he killed everyone, and then on the way out, because Frodo missed all the context, he's like, you did all of this? He's like, for you. For hard. you. <laughs> I like yeah, their very long hats. And that's for my old gaffer! Sam, no one knows what a gaffer is. The Hero Sam segment <laughs> where he's killing spiders and orcs. Oh, fuck, dude. The, the mouth of Sauron scene, when I saw that for the first time, I was like, what the hell? Like, yeah. This is a thing that exists? I had no idea. This in is fact, like reaching yeah, into your pocket I remember... and finding a $100 bill you didn't know it was in there. You're like, I... I hit, this is the thing? There's more? him and, um... The Return of the King game, the Mouth of Sauron. I was like, what the fuck is this based on? Because uh, that was Maybe before the, the extended. You know? Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. It's over. I've taken it. Sam. You wonder if Sam was like, I wonder if I should just say, yeah, they, they took the ring. Yeah, they damn. Totally <laughs> took the ring. Oh, That's well. just good amount doom Over. anyway, though. Dude, that, uh, the ring around Frodo's neck. Scarring. Give me the ring, Sam. He's just worried about Frodo. He, that's the only reason he doesn't give it to him right away. Not reassuring at all the uh, expression yeah. Frodo has when putting it on. That's the thing, man. I just, at that point, I'm like, I want nothing to do with that fucking thing. We best find you some clothes. You can't go walking through Mordor and not by your skin. That's true. It would be very inappropriate. And we would get an R rating for this film that we're already straddling. Fuck it. Let's get it. Let's get the R rating vision. Do it. Oh, fuck. And Could with the don't? music, oh. too. It feels I so uh, appropriate, too, in terms of like, holy shit, that's the destination. Look how close we uh -huh. are now. We'll never get through and see. Yeah, especially with fucking Sauron looking <laughs> so around like, like that. What are you guys doing over there? You, you fucking... I'm gonna find you. I'm getting a big feeling that the ring is close. Just saying. I think this is the first time we've seen the eye outside the Palantir this whole movie, right? In this movie... Yeah. In this movie. Very, uh, yeah, you really don't see the eye much. It is the first time that any of their main characters have been near the eye, though. Yeah, but yeah. they show, they, they like show it. Sometimes when they refer to it or yeah. in other imagery. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, what's not in the book? Eye. The eye of Sauron. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the visual well, is based the, on a description, right? Yeah, because in the, uh, Frodo sees it in the mirror, uh, Gladriel's. What does it call it? The mirror to Galadriel? No, that's not what it's called, is it? Oh, that's Galadriel's bathwater. Yeah, it's really, it's really fucking good. He sold yeah, it well, online. Well, yeah, he sees it in that scene, and then they just repurposed that visual and used it to make a physical presence for him in the movie. We can give Frodo his chance if we keep Sauron's eye fixed upon us. I think it was even in the animated version. Like an eye on a tower? I, I'd have to see. Yeah, no, well, an eye, not on a tower, but I think even in the animated version, there was... Well, the eyes on the book, I have to see it again. Cover the I'm, book. I'd be quite curious to see it again, because it's been so long. Yeah. Certainty of death, small chance of success. What are we waiting for? I like how Gimli's in the little chair now. <laughs> that take, though, the, from this scene, where he concluded that Gimli wanted to kill Sam. <laughs> Let him stay there. Let him rot! Why should we care? <laughs> that's right. This is the imagery that, yeah, that's right. Oh. Let him stay there. Let him rot. 
I like how he specified th- that he watched it three times to make sure he was right. And yeah. he still came to the wrong conclusion. It's just so funny because the other characters will be like, Gimli, what the fuck? Why do you want to kill it's- Sam and Frodo? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, so that little wifey of yours, huh? It's, well, it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but, you know, it'll look nice when it's all done. Just the damp of the first spring rain. Have you two also had a very long day? Because I have had a very long day as well. This is a moment yeah, where everyone's competing to explain they've had the hardest day. I promise I'm different from the rest of my family. Yes, I'm actually kind of stable. Considering everything that's happened around me, I'm shockingly stable. I'm like Sam, in a way. And she's like, who's that? He's like, oh, oh, you haven't seen Lord of the Rings? Okay. Don't mind me. Doing orc things. Come on, you slugs! He just it. loves whipping. Boy, I yeah. love whipping. Jeez, can you fucking imagine if they got separated? Fuck me. Let's just be at the mountain, okay? Which part of the mountain? It's a big mountain. Top and we're about. Oh, oh I don't know. Just down. pretend it's Star Wars and we'll arrive at the same exact location. <laughs> I wonder how you get the job as the drum guy in the army. Well, they probably have tryouts. Yeah, you gotta be good at it. You can't just be throwing it to anybody. What are they inspecting exactly? Just making sure. Just making sure everyone's in. okay. You know, checking the morale. Making sure there's the no troops. hobbits around. I can't believe some fucking old guy twisted a fucking sword at a no. stone and created no. that. That's <laughs> what right. that did not happen. Drag. He stuck no, the sword no, in the thing happen. and he turned in it. Ultimate, even to say it's in an ultimate guy. world, there's too much of an attachment. But yes, in some some bizarro world, yeah, the an old bastardized man awful. That. Yeah, the bad timeline version of Lord of the Rings. What some the old hell dude. Were they thinking? I think it is absurdly gay that they took such a cool looking sword and that just made it a key to make a the volcano. The sword was pretty cool. Especially, the, that's something I liked. We had to, like, the blood would make it grow. Oh, yeah, like, it oh, was so evil. Yeah, that's it's cool. like, that's, that's evil. That, that's, what are you gonna do with it? Oh, it's that, turn that, a key that, and make Mordor. That, <laughs> like, yeah. what? That shit's, that shit's metal as fuck. And then they're like, let's make it the dumbest thing ever. Especially because it leaves the scars behind. And that's what Waldrig showed Theo. It was like, see, don't you like Siren? Isn't this fucking metal and awesome? He was like, what the oh, fuck? Why do you keep pronouncing his name that way? <laughs> what? Theo? Waldrig? Sauron. Sauron. Yeah, Sauron. Sauron. Sauron? Ugh. No, that's the Mass that's Effect the guy 1 Mass bad guy. Effect. Well, that's Saren. There is light and beauty up there that no shadow can touch. That's such a nice little part of this movie. Not in the theatrical, mm-hmm. as far as I remember. But which it's in the real version, never... so... <laughs> yeah, which is why you should never fucking watch the theatrical version. Which uh, is why you should I, never I support even remember theaters it. ever. I was gonna or... say, I haven't seen the theatrical in so long, but I still, like, I'm just perpetually mad that they removed <laughs> so many good scenes Was there from someone it. over there enjoying Starlight? Because the, the reality is that that was the one that loads of people saw it. It's like, they didn't get to see the full thing. Well, well, that's why, like, the prevalent the time, thing, at least now, is you have to see the, you know, the proper versions. Yeah. yeah, the theatricals were still good, but you got that bonus of, you know, when, uh, when right around, it was before Christmas yeah, time. The yeah, the theatrical movies are like the roast chicken, but the extended editions are like the roast chicken with Samwise Gamgee's 11 Herbs and Spices. Even Frodo agrees, it is precious. Is it Frodo? And one could <laughs> argue that if they released the extended cuts originally, they would have made just as much money. People would have fucking had. You want to you want to test that, don't you? Thing. Like release those fuckers. Release a four hour movie into the cinema. Do it. No intermission. I think it. I think it well, that, literally was the... so that they could get more showings. Yeah. You'd have like almost like what half the showings that you could per day because of the sheer length. Don't even People care. would watch them. This ain't no the Marvels. You can fill everything everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> More than ten people will be in those theaters. This or is it like known in other countries the Captain Marvel too? A bunch of people watched that Avatar movie. That was pretty long. I don't remember a damn thing about it. Nobody remembers but, that. Nobody does. I only remember, remember the funny bits. bits. There was water. I remember the funny bits. <laughs> How could you be an actor in these movies and then like come away thinking, yeah, anything I make will be even remotely this good? That's kind of an interesting like, thought, definitely. is that the idea but, of knowing this is the best thing that you'll ever make or be a part of. Yeah, it's like, if this was, if I was in this project, I'd be like, you know what, I'm just never gonna do anything again. I, I peaked. I'll never do He's anything again. Do that. Right after they're done with the thing that they just realized they're the most known for, like David Duchovny with, with the X-Files, they go off and do their thing, they act a little bitter, but a lot of them, like when they get older, 
learn to appreciate, hey, at least I was in something memorable. Yeah. You know, Mary was uh, uh, Dominic. What's his name? Dominic Monaghan. Uh, he was in All of Lost. And then yeah. he made it into Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> oh, for like fucking why? five right. seconds! Oh my god, I like, like he was in the greatest trilogy of movies ever, and then he was like, "What if I was in one of the worst movies ever made?" What about the whole deal maneuver? <laughs> oh, there's some real damage. Oh my god, it's so bad! <laughs> Come on, that movie's one in a billion. My master, Sauron the Great. Oh, look at this fucking guy! Brush your fucking teeth. I like how Aragorn's just like this guy's ugly as fuck. Bruce Spence was in uh, the prequel trilogy, Mad Max, Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, no. dude, this moment of the first thought you'd have is like, you must have killed Frodo, but then simultaneously, like, there's a chance he didn't. Cool. Don't fucking reveal a thing. No! Silence! Ah, oh, some smart shit from Gandalf straight away. And who is this? He sees the action figure to this, the 1-6 scale, is perfect. It's utterly perfect. <laughs> Except it doesn't have a removable head. He has, wait, okay. he has a removable head? No, except he doesn't have one. I wish he did. Uh, you could always make that the, the, the case, Gary. You just get a buzzsaw and some glue. Also, that is Sorrow being like, did you just kill him? What the fuck? What, dude? Like, that's something <laughs> yeah. like I would do. What the fuck? Yeah, that's like dishonorable or wow. something. Pretty soon, all their horses are going to disappear. Yeah. Just I acknowledge that it's still the greatest trilogy of all time. <laughs> Sons of Gondor! Of Rohan! My brother! One of those moments where it's like, listen, we were feeling pretty hopeless before. This is super hopeless. A day may come when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day! This day we fight! This day we fight! This day we fight! I love how the horse just, like, knew, like, oh, I gotta do the thing. <laughs> yeah. The horse was very inspired by the speech. Yeah. Even the horse was like, I'm in Lord of the Rings, guys. All right, get going, Frodo. This is one of those, like, come on, we're on the doorstep. We gotta go. We came this far. I'm not I'm not stopping here. If we were at Shelob's cave, yeah, fair enough to give up. But, like, here, come on. The fact that they're circling us means they're afraid, right? I all thought I'd die fighting side by side with an elf. What about side by side with a friend? Yay! Oh, Yay! So satisfying. <laughs> Friendship. Oh, so fucking Friendship good. Friendship wins. I. I could do that. I can't carry it for you. But I can carry you! Oh, such a great line. Uh, I showed these movies to my grandma and she was like fucking sobbing during this part. Jeez, yeah, how do you He's not? Such a lad. It's so fucking good. After hearing all that from Frodo, especially being like, I can see him. With my waking eyes. Okay, this fucking ring is getting destroyed. Oh, Gimli looks so fucking funny in this part. I got Eric Lance for that. Look at him. Goblin Gimli. Gimli has had enough of this shit. <laughs> for Frodo. Yeah. Look Ian McClellan going. That's him. McClellan. Sprinting. McClellan. Oh, There wasn't enough epicness in this movie already. <laughs> they like, have some more. Oh, this is such wow. a like, are you fucking kidding me? Seriously. Are you serious? This little gremlin is back. I mean, uh, the palpable sense of desperation in this yeah. moment. Yeah, you know, you're, you're making progress in a sense, but... Oh, not these bastards again. <laughs> I don't know, does that mean he's going to turn into a golem? I don't think it can be spread by bites. <laughs> Those are the golem rules, right? You don't think, but you don't know. <laughs> I didn't realize that an Osgol fucking fell off. That's yeah, the first I time I ever saw, saw it. Before, I was like, whoa! <laughs> How did I watch these a million times and not notice that? Well, it's like the, the Legolas thing. Is I never noticed the Mumakil tried to use its trunk to hit Legolas off the tusk. I never noticed that before. Oh my god, 20 years of watching these movies and I'm still finding new awesome shit about them. Destroy it! And it's like poetry. It rhymes with a seal door. Elijah Wood is, uh... He is <laughs> giving it his all. I've never understood people saying he's a shitty actor in this film. No, he's yeah, I never not. Can. Just let it go! 
how can they say that in this scene? I mean, putting to one side all of the other <laughs> great scenes with Frodo, this scene in particular, it, this is a big challenge. Inside the ring is going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, yeah, he's oh shit, panicking, oh shit. But, uh... fuck, 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 fuck. Everything you really want me? Can. I'm shiny. Ooh, look at me. You Everything keep me, right? I can. But like, I don't, look at his eyes. The total change of expression. Well, yeah, it's like he's turned into a completely different person. The ring is mine. Imagine how Sauron feels with him putting yeah, that ring on now. Holy <laughs> yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Right there. <laughs> it's like, what? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Fly, you fools. Guys, the ring is in the one place I really don't want it to be. And on top of everything else. <gasps> well, it's just a culmination of low points all at once. God. I, I want to go up to all the animators and be like, I hope you know you made literally the greatest thing ever. Just like, make Gollum sure you stop off so at every other department good. as well. Yeah, but just like, Gollum's CGI holds up so fucking well. It's incredible how well it's held up after 20 I, I mean, th this is pretty fucking silly looking here, but... <laughs> well, the irony is like, it's, that's how it would look. <laughs> oh. Oof. I mean, it's, he's completed his He's so journey. happy. God, everything's going horribly wrong. What do you mean about this movie? God, the, the happiest guy in the world. The absolute fucking deafness of going from down to up to down to up. The deft hand, I mean. <laughs> he's at peace. He's so happy. <laughs> And everyone all over the world in all theaters was like, what? <laughs> Take my hand! This look, just, I'm sorry. Don't you let go. Don't let go. I mean, you keep, like, getting reminded of why anyone would pick any of these people for their favorites. But the two of them together, the friendship, the companionship saves Frodo. The amount they had going on faith too, right? They had they had nothing really concrete to know nothing what was happening. Faith. Fuck you, fire demon. That's right. Blow up. Go on, do it. Do it. Do the shockwave. Do oh, it. Looks so cool. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. This might oh, be the most it. satisfying villain death in history. Well, it's very much tied to the whole movie that came before it, and I mean all of them, really. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite the bad guy to be. It, it's like the first- one of the only instances where you see a villain who doesn't really directly do anything himself, but he just has, like, this incredibly satisfying demise. It kind of vaporizes, just like, uh, just like Emperor Palpatine, which means he might just return. No, no, no. But then, no. It's until you yeah, dare even go down that fucking train of thought. The elation immediately undercut of yeah. Oh, like, I mean, shit. from from this vantage point, no way they're making it out of that. Like we didn't think the mountain would blow up when we did. Oh, God, this. it's so important that we get each of the reactions. Oh, you know? look at him running! Oh, go, look go. go! That yeah, lava so dude, fucking that's hot. some fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ that tension so right hot. there. I love how much it does to convey just how hot this is, even if it's you know not real and not there just their faces and you know that wind is just like a furnace like has any character from any marvel movie looked anywhere near as fucked up as these two look right here uh tony looked pretty i mean yeah tony after he fucking yeah, did tony the looked pretty bad <laughs> time to start uh rolling out all them people's complaints about too many endings i don't <laughs> it is it's, almost it's only it's basically it's... 20 minutes on the dot to wrap it's, up what is what one three four five six seven eight nine like ten hours yeah. worth of content and you get twenty minutes of wrap up. If anything, the, it's swift. If anything, it's like not even a third as long as the endings in the book actually are. It's just bad criticism. It always comes with like just uh, it's it's based on intuition. It's not at all based on like an argument. There's no assessment the of anything that's superfluous or repeated. It's just it's just too long. It's too long. I just it, don't get the intuition though. It's like has been pointed out. This is like ten hours of story. The idea that 20 minutes of ending is too Even if long it was absurd. just The Return of the King, this is a four hour movie and you get a 20, exactly. hour, a 20 minute ending. It's like, yeah, that, that sounds about right. That still feels like a good ratio, it? yeah. But again, that's kind of the point. It's, like, it's not even a good argument on its own, right? Because it should be what's in the ending, what's in the content. And yep. like, yeah. what really can you cut out? Because you need to have all these character moments. This is the end Absolutely. of the, their stories individually. You need closure. Gandalf. 
Yeah, that's got to be a relief seeing Gandalf. I up like and the and the joke about him not knowing Legolas's name. <laughs> like, like he's really happy when Gimli comes in. He remembers Gimli, even though Gimli didn't really <laughs> say that much more to him than Legolas Gimli. did. That's the thing, though. You just, even if you didn't meet Frodo at all, you'd be like, "Motherfucker, you, 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 you saved the world! You, yeah, you, you saved the world! You destroyed the ring!" And you know it's, for a fucking like, fact yeah, well, yeah, that yeah, he's gonna yeah, talk yeah. to Sam later and be like, "Can we keep that one part of the story just to us? The part where I didn't throw the ring in immediately? Can we, uh, we don't need to tell people about that <laughs> yeah, part." Yeah, hey, one of the jokes we made last time that Sam started reading Frodo's account of the book and being like, "Hold on, some oh, of these wait, things wait, wait, wait. fucking right." He uses the rest of the book to to write. Actually, no, this did not happen the way he said. You're it gonna did. tell him that I hit Smeagol with a rock, or else I'm gonna tell them what really. <laughs> when Frodo writes is like Smeagol tricked Sam again and again. <laughs> Like, Sam was very retarded. <laughs> Sam was so dumb he actually thought he ate the Lembus bread. When I threw the ring, Sam was very upset. <laughs> he wanted to keep it. Oh, Fringy, honor guards. That's what they're oh, called. Oh, and Halo. Oh, I thought yeah. I thought you were talking about like a like if they had like their own name, like an like a Sangheili word for it or something. No, no, I was just trying to figure out. I always knew they were honor guards, but I thought. If there was like an in lore name, no, like I'm a, sure you did. They were like the vanguard, basically, for the the high council. Oh, I forget the name. No, I, I, yeah, sure I really did. did. I'm sure you knew. Well, then, yeah. Why did you say anything when he said vanguard? Exactly. The little liar. <laughs> You're like right. Frodo not, telling I'm the not. story of Lord of the Rings. I'm not. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, another little detail is that Aragorn's crown it matches all the crowns on the statues, which is. Of course, what they do, but it's nice to see the things like that pile up. Consistency? Yeah, consistency. Yeah, it's nice to see some consistency. Let us together rebuild this world that we may share in the days of peace. And George R. R. Martin asked, what happens next? And made his own story called Game of Thrones. Well, A Song of Ice and Fire. Mm -hmm. And it and is yet to be finished. finished. It. <laughs> and it will never be finished. The latest update on that was so fucking depressing. Is that the one that I sent you or is it another one? Just the one where he basically said I haven't done anything. <laughs> he lost He lost 100 pages this year. Lost 100 pages. Hey, what do you mean he lost 100 pages? How do you just he lose 100 them. pages? There was, a, there was a terrible fire and he dropped them. It's not like there was a writer's strike and he only could just work on his book and not his eight tv shows and could have probably finished it's that not he... like there was a pandemic where he couldn't do anything anyway and could have easily yeah, finished it, it, right you start to remember like it's not like it's been 10 billion years <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's not as though like the expanse books were all finished before uh winds of winter in between uh dance of dragons they were even apologetic about the last book because it took a whole extra year <laughs> and meanwhile, George is like, fuck you for being mad that it took me 13 years to write this fucking book you want. 4,000, I think we're up to 4,420 days, something like that. I can't wait for George's legacy to be the guy who didn't finish the books. It's already it's there. A, it's all about to say, like, I don't even know anything about him except that. That's all I know. Well, Tolkien's there, bitch. There's, can't well, Tolkien's well, that's the thing. There's still a lot of suck-offs out there that are like, he doesn't owe you anything. And it's like, shut the fuck up. That's it's one of those like yeah technically true kind of defenses but sort of proves the point in making it, it gets yep. weird when you like that many years of not finishing your own story you're kind of signing an unspoken contract when you start to make a series i wouldn't have wasted my fucking time and money if i knew you weren't gonna finish them can we talk about how this is a fucking amazing <laughs> moment <laughs> yes we yeah, can this yeah, is yeah we, need to, we need to hold off on the george hate for a second you bow to no one this moment's amazing oh, moment. because it spotlights that even the smallest and most useless, pathetic pieces of shit in the world are important. That's true. Who are you referring to? You. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm glad that I'm important, Mahler. Thank you. Yeah. The tallest, no the tallest one. man in the world. And then the camera sweeping in to make sure that's the case. It's just... Perfection. It's beautiful is what it is. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's wonderful. Between the four of them, their achievements are insane. It's the best ending. There's a lot of endings and they're all good, but this is the best one. I don't know. I, I kind of like well, but the, okay, Frodo but, getting on the boat. And it's, I think it's it's a bit of a good. mistake to call them all endings as opposed to like, that's the end <laughs> yeah, yeah. of Lord of the Rings. Now we have Aftermath that relates to like leading us off into what the future of the story would be. Or at least... I mean, that's 
it's pretty consistent with the book. That's what I mean, though. It's like it's right. the, they're, yeah. they're very purposeful. They all serve different things. That that moment there feels like the end to the story of the Lord of the Rings. This feels this like this is uh, the epilogue. Well, that's the end to... of the plot. This is still the story continuing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Like exactly. that's the end of the adventure. The adventure's done. This is settling back in. And it's been so long since we've seen the Shire, and it's so nice to be back. Yes. The quaint it, I like how it looks feet. almost ethereal. Like it doesn't look it real does. compared it to everything that we been through not scoured we possibly considered a hobbits kill people possibly know, considered right? a controversial <laughs> choice but still like i've not been convinced anytime i hear about it that this film would have improved with the scouring put at this point they're all totally changed man it ain't the yep. same anymore they don't know that mean? All these people they don't around know. us don't know. They don't know what we've been through. We know, you know. Oh, they're, they're that meme where they don't know what we've been through. That's what I just said. <laughs> they don't know what we've been through. Yeah. Not for hey, you say it's it. just like that meme. <laughs> they don't know what we've been through. I, I think, I, I don't think I will. Damn, you Captain America. Dang, Fringy. Everyone's going to see this and they're going to be like, ah, oh, man, Fringy was the one who didn't do it. Fringy dropped the bowl. True. Dropped the goo. Always got to be one. And if you cut it out, I'll make sure to post it independently. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Hell yeah, Chad yeah. Sam. Yeah. yeah. Rosie, looking good, even with the hairy feet. I would. <laughs> oh, that makes it better. What are you talking about? I would. Didn't Vigo Mortensen and Pippin make out? That's, that's not the way you would describe it. Is Vigo kissed the shit out of him when he caught <laughs> Make it. out. Yeah, making out is different. <laughs> That, in that implies a level of passion that extends beyond memeage. How do you pick up the threads of an old life? This is yeah. like the house everyone wants. Um, yes. I mean, it's a, it's a cool house, yeah. Oh, here Fringy we go. Fringy didn't seem Fringy. convinced. Oh, there, yeah. Jesus, mm. Fringy. First, you don't say the thing, and now you're the like, thing is, it's, it's, I presume you mean scaled up because I don't want to be banging my oh, head. Yeah, of course. Oh, no, why would Ray? Right? Like, no, no Fringy. We all just want a tiny house. house. We want a That's tiny house. That's how the idea of it. I want to walk in like Gandalf <laughs> and hit my head on the chandelier every fucking time. Maybe you do. Maybe you're a crazy guy. I need to go to New Zealand. I need to see all this shit. Oh yeah, I imagine they'd preserve the hell out of all of this for as, for as long as they can. It's a big part of their national idea. Yeah. Like, it actually is. And it's, like, attached to three incredible movies that everyone in the world loves. And it's like, yeah, New Zealand made that possible. I mean, you've got good reason to be proud of, of this. As, Absolutely. As a creation, especially with how much of it is is just tied to oh, New Zealand. The, the amount of tourism th these movies have brought in oh, so is a lot insane. of people didn't know New Zealand like, it, existed. It, it, they, they they knew it existed, but it was just it, yeah. it's pretty far away from the states. But there's a lot of Americans who go there. Well, now. It's, it's I mean, geez, I learned about New Zealand, and film. I'm like, fuck, yeah. I didn't even know there was an old Zealand. Unreal, though, that you have all of this incredible cultural impact from movies that are incredibly well made, and all this stuff. It's all recorded. Everyone knows how they got made and who by. And yet, all you have to do is follow the fucking yeah, what I mean, formula. Yeah, it's just like it's no, all we will find this a way to do it worse. Hieroglyphics on a tomb somewhere. We'll do it worse this for is, more money is, and take not as long and we'll do fucking it worse for more money and more time, and it'll suck. In all seriousness, it's the laziness of Hollywood. Most people are lazy there. Oh, they they, they, they try they to find the fucking quickest way to do a lot of this shit, but funnily yep. enough, it'll often be the like they'll they'll be stopped burning money real fast, right? Like that's that's well, the story of the MCU. And you also got have guys who are just complete bullshit artists who take on stuff that's way above uh, their talent levels, so it looks good on their resume. They're not going to turn it then, down if some idiot goes up to two guys who had written a third of a shitty script. And says, here's a TV series with all the money in the world. They're not going to say no. And you often forget as well that most people in Hollywood is a very sad amount that don't care at all for the creative process uh, for the money. It's Celeborn and Galadriel. Tele no, it's Teleporno. Teleporno. <laughs> Teleporno. <laughs> That's right. Teleporno. <laughs> Teleporno. Re refer to him by his real name, please. Uh, Ian Holm. Legend! Miss that absolute. guy so much. I think I'm quite ready for another adventure. When he says that line, I like legitimately, oh, oh, fucking hell. I mentioned this in early, in, earlier on in this very long episode that <laughs> I adore the BBC radio drama. I I've think heard it's, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. Fucking magnificent. He plays Frodo. And Bill, uh, Bill Nye plays Nye? Uh, not the song. Bill Nye, 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 Nye plays uh, Sam. Oh, really? That's awesome. 
not sad, do not weep. For not all tears are an evil. Who yep. plays Teleporno? Oh, I don't know. He's in it, though. Is he safe? Is he all right? Ah, oh, jeez. Pissing your homies on the forehead goodbye. Bring it back. I think this as well is the first fantasy movie to win an Oscar for Best Picture. Yeah, which I guess isn't surprising. But it's um, also so important. It's super um, important in terms of demonstrating the legitimacy of other genres that are not conventionally considered good enough, essentially, for these kinds of awards. And then absolutely no other movie came anywhere close to being this. It's a pretty high bar, though. Well, yeah, I'm I mean, not expecting the same level of quality. I'm just saying, like, can we even try to get a little <laughs> can bit Can we close? try? Morbius. Okay, I'll give you that one. Morbius yeah, is extreme. Whenever I say, you know, the best of anything, like I'm obviously including Morbius as like a, we don't need to mention it. It might yeah, be the only one in that call who actually saw Morbius. Bring it in. Morbius think... is an I haven't hearts. seen Morbius, no. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. That, that if one Bring hasn't actually, seen it, then nobody's seen it. That would actually probably be a really good EFAP movies for you guys. That movie is fucking yeah. hysterical. I always <laughs> thought it would be like a meh Lame. thing. But... No, no, no. It's really, really funny. <laughs> All right. Fair if, if you if like, I watched it. We should be talking about Morbius on this fucking part. Of the no, film. Uh, get back to what you said, Mahler. To, we're talking about Morbius here. Just in my lifetime, it was like after watching Star Wars lose, Raiders of the Lost Ark lose, all these like you know E. T. lose. Like none of these films got E. T. lost. Uh, really, E. T. did not win Best Picture. Raiders of the Lost Ark did not e. win Best Picture. Oh, Empire okay. wasn't even nominated. That's Star that's Wars just doesn't get nominated yeah. or win these time, kind of awards. It's so if you want to use the term loosely genre, I guess maybe Silence of the Lambs kind of a horror movie. That's kind of genre. This yeah, is they'd first... be like thriller as well, probably. Yeah, you know? this is the first real genre film, modern genre film. I'm not going back into the 20s or 30s that that won. That should have so won. Lame. That kind of bias against. Should have won three years in a row. Well, no, it feels like the other two would have helped this one gain that like, win. Essentially, that can, it's uh, finally like, come this, on, like... give us the awards that yeah, we like, deserve. You know, had this come out like so to speak on its own like without the it's culturally speaking people were fucking talking about this this was not avoidable yeah. and that has to be accounted in what was once a legitimate academy awards which are a joke now dark knight should have won star wars should have won raiders lost dark should have won et should have won you can make an argument uh for I, this might be controversial to some people spider-man 2 could have made an argument to that at least superman should have been nominated because they were critically acclaimed and immensely popular i i don't know what else you need oh a bunch of slow english dudes running to Vangelis <laughs> music. That's it. That's the Lord of the Rings trilogy extended. A beautiful, incredible, incredibly difficult to defeat trilogy of quality that uh, stands the test of time more than likely always will. Inspirational, fucking incredibly created. My God, the writing, the effects, the performances. The Production design, editing, cinematography. Costumes. Soundtrack. Everything. It's the greatest film trilogy ever made. Took a lot of work from a lot of passionate people, and it's forever going to be remembered for those reasons. You're sad when it's over. You feel lost because you're like, oh, I'm not going to see it for the first time again. But I remember going into this movie going, ah, oh, it's, this is, it's ending, and I don't want it to end. What do you even do now? Like, it's over, and it's just... What do you do? It's so like we said before, <sighs> we figured it out. We nailed it. We got it. It's only down from here. <laughs> like, oh. Seriously, this film has some of the best special features ever committed to a DVD or a Blu-ray. Yeah. Like, they not, not only not made the hard. greatest movies, they recorded the entire process. And makes, process. Like painful detail, all of it. You know, and it's that, uh, that Reunited Apart video that uh, they did during the pandemic. Uh, John Reese davies said something that I agree with that... Uh, I think you'll learn more about the process of making films from watching those special features than you will from like going to a university to agreed uh, learn about it as is often the case. It, it, well, remember Chris Stuckman so said that uh, he learned how difficult it is to make films from having been on a set. He didn't know that that it takes effort before he went to a set himself for some reason. Really? He thought what did he That's what he said. So like I I, I magic obviously happen? all of us sort of gathered it from any behind the scenes, but a lot of people could gather it from watching a film. You can kind of see all of the shit that goes into him that's incredible and difficult. And the Lord oh, of the Rings the directors go through. Every director like balloons in weight or loses all their hair or it, it's it's crazy. Stressful as hell. 
yeah. you juggle everything. You don't know that things are going to work, but you have to behave as though they will. You have to keep everyone going. And um, yeah, what, what's so endearing about the behind the scenes for Lord of the Rings is just how much everyone seems to be on the same page. You know, we know what the fuck we're doing and they're working hard and uh, the passion of it as well. I'm pretty sure like every time you hit the um, the final scene for any character, like the the entire cast are like tearing up knowing that the, they won't be seeing them again. Meanwhile, I don't know if you remember, but it was like a, a viral thing of the guy who was filming his last scenes is getting killed as Admiral Akbar, and then they were just like, okay, you could leave now. He was like, yeah, I could just, I'll just, you know, uh, just Yeah, go. that's just it. See ya. Yeah, bye. It's remarkable that these films exist and that they are as great as, as they are. In a certain sense, from a timeline perspective, we got lucky. But then that's the thing, it wasn't luck, it was hard work and dedication and passion. Oh, and you can do nothing but hope that... Um... You know, future generations would learn from it and create more. We want to see more yeah, stories. Yeah, be inspired by it. It really is like an easy thing to point to. Of you want to introduce <laughs> introduce somebody to, and then set very very high expectations for films as a thing that you get to partake in as a human being. The Lord of the Rings trilogy is pretty quintessential. It's got action. It's got romance. It's got comedy. It's epic. A bit of horror. A bit of yeah, horror as well. Bit, it's it's really actually quite a bit of horror. Astoundingly well balanced. And incredibly inspirational. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. 100%. So many amazing characters, so many great arcs. Thematically, it's incredibly poignant and meaningful and universal as well. It's a very yeah. universal story, hence why I think it's an easy one to recommend. It's like, here, th this is this is storytelling. This is this thing that we like to do as people. What else can you say? <laughs> I mean, if you do uh, yeah. it, you want amazing task. Not to say it was easy, but here we are, 20 plus years after it was all, you know, shot, put together. And we're still watching it, still loving it. It's still super iconic. It's still incredibly popular. It's, just, it's always it, there. Yeah, it speaks for itself as a creation, stands the test of time. In another 20 years, people will still be watching and talking about how much they love these movies. Everything, we certainly yeah, so will much be. nowadays feels so disposable and like it's just trying to get the butts and seats for the first couple weekends. And then after that, oh, it's done its <laughs> job, whatever. And that's kind of the irony of it, right? Like the if they were to take the time to make something like this, they could make a hell of a lot of money. Even if you you thought it was unreliable it's like you might as well make something good while you're at it yeah. <laughs> you know if your goal is just to make money might as well make something good well on that note i hope you all enjoyed that uh very happy that we were able to pull it together and uh hey you know what make sure you watch lord of the rings at least once per year the extended editions That's, once per uh, year once per week your moral obligation will keep you keep you sane too what do you say after all that after all what we've been through Thank wow. you so much, Each everybody. Day. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you Goodbye, for joining everyone. us on this adventure. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. See you later. Farewell. Goodbye. I'm going to animate you falling into a hell portal, and that's how you're going to exit. <laughs> Why has got to be a hell portal? Ha have have him, be a nice no, ha have, portal. Him, have, him, have him falling can with can Gandalf. I, can, I, can, I, can I fall into the portal from Event Horizon? And it's just... <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, if I can find a green screen video of that happening, then sure. But as of okay. now, the only green screen hell portal I found is the one that I used to signify Robert leaving. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the implication, honestly, to people will be that we, we did it all in one and the drinker could only survive so long and so could Robert. If I ever go into a portal in one of these, I want it to be to a nice place. Have it be to the Shire or. <laughs>
well. They popped up, both of them, in Coraline. Both of them were in uh, the second Poirot movie with Kenneth Branagh. There's some stuff. They just appear together that sometimes they have their own shit going on as well. They're rather funny. Now, something they did back in the day, and of course, I mean, I guess early 2000s, they did skit comedy, and uh, one of them, the two main ones I remembered were Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. And there's some jokes in it. They basically get a budget to, you know, in a parody way, recreate the film's standard sort of sketch stuff, but also try and make some form of a narrative out of it. And uh, then it's for like, you know, children need sort of thing. It's pretty scuffed, but it's also just kind of fun. It's it's the kind of parody you love where you take something really good and then you just poke at it in the best ways you can, trying to make some jokes. And I thought I'd show you guys, as well as those at home who have no idea what this is. So, right. um, How many warriors does the director want to see in the big battle? About half a million. <laughs> uh, right. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. How are we going to do that? Ants? How are we going to get them all to die? With like a hair dryer? <laughs> well, it's a prize, isn't it? It's... <laughs> As you can see, it's going to be dumb as Find fuck. Find 500,000 ants. <laughs> the Middle Ages. Actually, it was, it was Cinderella times. Cinderella times. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Ricky Lake. <laughs> Eleven kings. No, that's Elven. Elven kings. <laughs> <laughs> they just... And so there was a great battle with the Dark Lord's forces. Like slightly lower budget. Well, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Cover the pot in his head. The calendar. <laughs> and then a terrible thing happened. <laughs> a terrible thing happened. <laughs> the ants. Oh no. <laughs> 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 He's on fire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. That's horrifying. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> oh, it's that stalks <laughs> of the big feet. <laughs> Just like how shit it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandalf. Dildo Daggins and Doggins. <laughs> Dildo Daggins. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> <a> shitty model. <laughs> I'm afraid you won't see Bilbo. What? He doesn't want to see any more well wishes or Malaysians today. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bilbo. Would you like some refreshments, Ian? Perhaps some cake and monkey poo? <laughs> what else do you need? <laughs> 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 I love that you can see the set. <laughs> yeah. So like, I, I am most marvelous thirsty. It's the top of the set and the shitty puppet. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> the shitty force perspective. Yeah. You should have this cup. I'm the giant. I know I that. That's cup. why you should have this cup. I should have the big one. It makes me look smaller. No, it... <laughs> <laughs> fetch it for me, young Dildo. You're closer. You fetch it. No, little diddly do. <laughs> You're closer. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I dare not take it. Fear not, young Dodo. It is quite cool. Dodo. There's nothing written on it. Look more closely. Go, Gareth, when drop lift, when you see a go, go, go. Oh, That's that the, the joke I always really reference, long, yeah. The, the Welsh one? one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great lord, Saruman the White. Is that just a snow globe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the Palantir, what are you talking about? Tis I, Vilcom, the Avenue, Randolph of the Grey, 
welcome. Those look like the same lamps that they actually had on the set. <laughs> For 20 bucks, it's pretty good. <laughs> Twixt the valleys of Timote and the mountains of Toblerone. <laughs> mountains of mountains Toblerone. Of Toblerone. Oh, God. <laughs> try and stay with me, darling. Could you just try? Don't try and look so bored. Don't try to look so bored. Just like the movie. That guy's walking. Quick, lads. Hide in here. <laughs> oh, God. They're going to do the shot. <laughs> Is that paper mache armor? <laughs> <laughs> so bad. He's sniffing my ring. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was a close one. Oof. I see you too have gone bad. Gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> that sound effect is good. You just don't understand how how do they achieve these special effects? <laughs> <laughs> In here! Quick! <laughs> In here. <laughs> Elrond. Born in the first. <laughs> he looks exactly the like the Gilgalad act. He looks very and similar to him, yeah. He does. And thrown into the fire of Mordor. <laughs> Past alliance of elves and. <laughs> Sticky toffee pudding. Please, will you be quiet? <laughs> and then a pudding. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Very difficult. At least you're not working with a hat. Shut up! In my life. Now look what you've done. <laughs> 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 you zoom out and unfocus. No, I think it's very Harry Potter what he's doing. Well, it's just that I, I play Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. I think you're marvellous. Did Absolutely you? marvellous. Did you? You did very well. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> what? It's just world building. Yeah. I like how the hat stays all pointy and everything. <laughs> Something lurks in the shadows. <laughs> Ignore it, it's just Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Come on, lads, we must onwards. Ignore it. It's just Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hand pushes him out. <laughs> <laughs> that marriage of physical and CG. I like the little perspective uh. of the art. <laughs> What's his name? Wait, take a step out of the way now, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, great sphincter of light? <laughs> 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 The Lady Galadriel. Sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Why is that? <laughs> Speaking to you telepathically. <laughs> telepathically? I am Dodo. I am Dodo. Nephew of. You say. Gilgo Gaggin. Arwen. And auntie of Jordan, dwarf princess of Nymphomania. <laughs> Nymphomania. I love the lack of grace in doing yeah. that. Into, yeah. the magic, into the magic bird bath. Magic bird bath. <laughs> offer it to me so freely. A queen! <laughs> 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 and now I will diminish and go to the west and remain Galadriel. You were what, sorry? I don't understand. It's in the book. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
That was funny. I liked it. Dumb as Magic fuck. bird bath. So fun. Yes. I have to find a way to call someone a great sphincter of light. <laughs> uh -huh. Who are you, great sphincter of light? Well, the, she was going to pronounce, uh, uh, was it Gilgo? And it's like, how do you do that if you can't close your lips? Gilgo. And she's so like, Gilgo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Funny, funny eyes. I haven't got the funny eyes in yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I haven't got the feet. I don't know where you begin or end anymore. <laughs> Good memes. Good memes indeed. I liked it. That was good. From a better time, good. where making fun of good things was what you did. <laughs> like, that was funnier yeah. than all of Love and Thunder. Yeah, it was. And that movie was yeah, trying oh, yeah, hard. Was. was that movie really trying hard? Because I don't. Feel yes, like it's it, right it, it was trying very hard. I think. I don't. I don't. don't what well, you don't? You don't think that when he wrote "Eat My Hammer," he wiped the sweat from his brow like fuck? That was really fucking hard writing that line down. Oh, well, he thought it was good. He thought Infinity Cones was good. Yeah, they yeah. made like a whole you know, thing. I made it set. Like, yeah, they, they, it was really bad. Well, on that note, I hope you enjoyed, everybody. That was fun on the bun. Little bonus. Mm -hmm. Hooray. There you go. Now we, can, now we can diminish and go into the West and remain EFAP. Uh, we shall. What was that noise? <laughs> I don't know. Oh it's my goodness. <sighs> yeah. Okay, bye bye. Sounds like somebody goodbye. violated your. Now that it's done, bye. I feel kind Thank of sad. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.